Let's slack you. Let's put the garments on real quick. All right, well, it's on right now. Okay. Oh, shit. It's cool. It's cool. Well, you can start it off, up. Huh? All right. So, uh, you know, this is a uh, brother of war with the uh, elder Manatazaka, brother Sawapar. Um, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. 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 You know, double honors to our elders and apostles, which are a great millstone, and salutations and peace, love, and blessing to all the hopefully elect talking, just pushing this word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Yeah, so pretty much through the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai, we're just going to jump right into it. The lesson is pretty much based upon how the Lord blessed us with the light of the world, but the whole earth is in gross darkness. These people, pretty much their minds are geared to folly, uh, which the scriptures say folly is set in great dignity. These people's minds are set on, on bullshit, you know, but the heavenly father through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shah, he has opened our minds up to his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is the truth, you know, knowing who we are as a people, that we're not just niggas, spicks, wetbacks, uh, uh, Mexicans, we're, we're the Israelites. We're coming from the Hebrew word, Yasha Allah, meaning prince of the power, you know, we're, we're a glorious people, you know, and being a glorious people, there's a certain way that the Heavenly Father wants you to carry yourself on the earth. We ain't supposed to just be out here doing what we want to do, you know? Uh, matter of fact, uh, you had some. Yeah, I'm going to bring a drawing in the full chapter. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, get right to the spirit. Because you know? pretty much the Heavenly Father gave us, given us his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And that's what sets us apart from these people in the world. Because we have morals, we have standards, we have a way to govern ourselves. And righteousness, which that's how the Heavenly Father created us to be. No. Go ahead. Come on. This is Deuteronomy 4 and 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Come Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. So these, this, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Heavenly Father has taught us, this is what makes us stand out amongst all the nations and all the nations in the ancient world they knew this they knew this to be as long as we write with our power he's going to elevate us over all nations on the earth and we're going to stand out amongst these nations you know we're going to because we, we do we're doing things according to how things are supposed to be done you know these other nations they do things according to the flesh they eat they eat pig they eat all these abominable food which what, what does that do that makes your body sick you know they did they, they do all things um, all manners that are against the scriptures which which pretty much destroys them, you know? But what, what are we doing? We're doing things according to the scriptures, how the Heavenly Father set it up to be, which, which pretty much is our light in the sight of the nation, meaning that that's what, what, what the Heavenly Father uh, is get, get given upon us to shine on, on the world, you know? This light, this truth, you know? Because we, we don't walk in the ways of the world. We walk in the ways of the spirit, you know? We, we uh, like the, the Heavenly Father said, uh, the this is how you're supposed to do it. This is how we do it. You know, don't eat pork, don't eat shrimp. We don't eat those things, which is tends what makes our bodies more healthier, you know? This, you know, that, that's just one aspect of it. There's various other aspects of it. You shall not have any other gods before me. We don't go after these strange idols, because what does these idols bring to you? Death. They bring uh, wickedness, uh, demons to you, you know? And if you wanted to say something, brother. I got a precept for you. Come on, go ahead. Yeah, this is Ecclesiasticus 19 and 22. It says the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Yeah, either knowledge, uh, Salaki, uh, the knowledge of wisdom, I mean, Salaki, the, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. And that's what this whole world pushes. The knowledge of being wicked is, is, is the way, pretty much is like uh, everything that's right is, is, is wrong in this society and everything that's wrong is right. Pretty much the knowledge of, of wickedness is what elevates you in this society, okay? Oh, oh, you, 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 nigga, you ain't got four or five bitches. You ain't fucking uh, the next man's bitch, you know. When, when the scriptures say you're not supposed to deal with another man's wife, that's wickedness, you know. But in this society, they push that as being something to be glorified about, you know. Or even Esau going to the fact to push that you can't even have uh, more than one woman. Oh, oh, you, you, you dealing with you dealing with multiple women? That's 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 off. When the scriptures say that's righteousness, you know. Because the Lord said, "Be fruitful and multiply." You know, that's just on just that's just on different levels. You know, it, it goes even deeper than that. You know, the team. Come, on, come. On. Um, 
the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. Okay. If you want to speak on it. Yeah, man. The knowledge of wickedness, that's uh, all that. That's that's pretty much all the knowledge that uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai gave Esau, man. The so-called white man was the the pretty much a pure knowledge of wickedness, man. And that's why everything is the way that it is. That's why you're walking on stone. That's why he's got satellites in the air with laser beams and nuclear missiles. That's why he has a nuclear missile in the first place that could cause mass destruction upon the earth. He pollutes everything. He pollutes the planet that he lives upon himself. He's pretty much destroying, destroying everybody, including himself, because the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. And so, so everything that this devil does is through the left hand, which, which, which only leads to death. Because the knowledge of the right hand, the knowledge uh, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, these scriptures and, and, and righteousness, that leads to eternal life, you know. But the path of Esau is nothing but death, as they say. This this guy is the harbinger of death. He the harbinger of death. Matter of fact, I got a precept for you. This is um, pretty much backing up what you said, because Esau, like you said, he can't do right. He, everything he brings is wickedness, because the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh programmed him to be wicked. He can't do right. His mindset is based upon wickedness. Just like our mindset is based upon righteousness, how Jake, Jake could get off into his wickedness, but at some point in Jake's life, he get a conscience. He realizes, what the fuck am I doing? Like a lot of these celebrities, that's why they own all these drugs and all this shit to keep their mind bugged out because they know what they're doing is evil. And at a certain point in their life, they say, what the fuck am I doing? They end up bugging out. Some of them killing themselves, you know? Some of them uh, overdosing on drugs because they are our, our people have a, like the scriptures say, we have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. Because so the Most High programmed us to actually believe in him, to actually believe in a higher power. You know, that's why a lot of the niggas in the world, they get them awards. First thing they want to say, oh, well, I like to thank God, because they know they got a zeal. They believe in the Most High, but it's not according to the knowledge of how he said he was going to be, uh, be according to the scriptures. But Esau, we got to realize in Esau's mind, the Most High programmed him to be wicked. So there's not a righteous thought in his mind. His mind is just filled with wickedness. And this is a scripture to back it up. This is Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. If you that's want right. To yeah, yeah, that's right. The soul which is lifted up. Because, you know, just like uh, uh, the most high heart in Pharaoh's heart, which, which Esau is the new Egyptian, the new Pharaoh, you know, when you read the Romans, the ninth chapter, it tells you that, you know, um, he is hardened. He's hardening this devil right now so that he could show his power with them. His his heart is lifted up to the heavens. OK, that we talks about that in Obadiah as well. You know that that his soul is, is lifted up. He's very proud. He thinks that everything, every everything that he's doing on the left hand, the most high is with it, man. Yeah. You know, he, he thinks that the Lord is a, a, allowing him to reign. That's why it tells you in uh, Psalm that his 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 idea is that he's going to dwell forever. That his, yeah. that his houses shall continue for all generations. Yeah. But if you want to if you want to take it to a spiritual high spiritual level, ultimately the most high is with him. He's with him to destroy him, you know. He lifted him up. We'll tell you that in Romans in ninth chapter. What if the most high willing to show us uh his his his, his wrath and to make his power known, Seth will suffer the vessel unfitted for destruction. You know, I'm not quoting it exactly, you know, mm -hmm. verbatim, but well, matter of fact, you can get that. This bring out the scriptures, you know. God. Pretty much the most high pretty much raised up Esau, and made him proud, just so he could smash his ass, you know. Just like just like he did the ancient Pharaoh in the ancient times of Egypt, you know. The most high is a man of war, Exodus 15 mm -hmm. and 3. So he'll raise you up, give you all his power. And the scriptures also say that he's slow to anger. So he'll make you think that he's with you, you know. That's what Esau has in his mind. The most high and with me. It tells you that in Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because since it's against the evil work, it's not executed speedily. Therefore, it's in his heart. To, uh, matter of fact, I get it just to quote, uh, so I won't quote it. I just read it. Pretty uh, much, he, had, he has it in his mind that there's not, nothing can take him out, which that's, that's, that makes the fight that much more better. The most size is, is like it's a good fight. So he yeah. raised up this, this devil's pride just so he can smash him. That's the power of Yahweh Bashim al shot for you, you know? Yeah, because you go in, you go into uh, Daniel twelve and four when it tells you that knowledge shall be increased. Okay. You know this devil, this devil raised up his pride so high because he, you know, the Lord blessed him with that sword, and, and he was able to conquer the world with that sword. So now he thinks, you know, he's the Almighty man. Yeah, he think he thinks that he's the power. He what tells you that um instead of um 
I said, uh, what's that in, um, it's in Thessalonians. Uh, they they pretty much, they claim themselves to be the most high. You know? I'll get that for you, bro. You can get that too, because Esau, in his mind, he thinks like, he thinks, look, I am God, which that's, that's a beautiful mindset for this devil to be in. It makes it that much more better when we smash your ass, when the most high, your Abba shots takes you out of your rulership. Because it, would be, it wouldn't be a good fight if this devil just submitted. Oh, I give up, you know. He put the chains on his neck. Fuck that. We want you to, we want you to go out fighting. The scriptures say uh, we're going to rejoice when we see his, our, the vengeance. We shall wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. So we want you to fight. You know, we want you to, uh, to, 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 to try to do everything in your power to stop this. Because it's going to make the Lord's power that much more greater. To show you that we, he's a greater power than you, you know. Like you said, he, he's going to be an increase. He has his fighter jets. He has all these tech, all this top technology. So he thinks, which the Most High gave it to him on the left hand side. Well, how's the Most High gonna take him down with spiritual power? You know, the chariots; those are spiritual vehicles. He's gonna give men on this side what spiritual power to fight this devil. You know, that's right. That's right. If you had something, you can bring with God, what you real, just real quick to back it up. Yeah, this jump is, up uh, in there, Saul. So God, God, I'm bringing us <laughs> priestess. This is Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. So like the brother was saying, you know, pretty much Mosai is making him do, you know, all this wickedness. You know, because no one has free will. You know, as we all brothers always bring it out, you know, everybody's just a robot, you know, doing the Mosai's bidding, you know, whether it be for destruction or for life. So Esau's doing the same way, you know. And then, you know, you would think he would he would repent because he sees all, the, all, these, um, all these things going up against him, right? All these people going up against him. But the Mosai has it that, hey, he gives him like treats, you know. He's like, "Hey, you're getting closer to that world war. I mean, to that new world order, you know. Hey, we, you know, we got things uh, solidified, you know. But it's all pretty much bringing him to that that destruction, you know. Yep, yep. Done. Done. And just continue. He turned yeah. it whatsoever he will. Done. Yep, yep. He turned it so whatever he will. So pretty much, the heavenly Father controls who who's in power, and who's not in power. He sets up. I can tell you that in Daniel's. We get that he set up. He set up, up over the basis of men. The, the Heavenly Father set up the lowest scum piece of shit of the earth, the Edomites, to rule over us. If you came to us in the ancient world and said, look, these men are going to rule over you, we would have left. You, are you out of your damn uh, Edomite ruling over me? We probably would have put, put, put you to death back in the ancient world if you said some shit like that, you know. <laughs> but in this time, we, we, we like, damn, this motherfucker is really, literally ruling over us, you know. That showed you the power of the Lord. You know, bring it up. God, and, through, and through spirit, you know, that happened in all the tribes, you know, from Judah all the way down, um, you know, down the tribes of Ishikar, you know, whether it be in the ancient world or in the more recent world, you know, whether it be the Aztecs, the Mayans, or, you know, the West Northern African um, kingdoms that were, that were there, you know, if, you know, someone told them, hey, there's some, you know, some white people coming and go take down your empire, probably would have laughed, you know, that we're a great, we're a great, we're the great Mayans, we're the great Aztecs, we're the great Northern African, um, you know, tribes how are we gonna go down it's impossible yeah yeah it's it's been in it's been in esau's heart for a long time when you read the when you read about it in the book of um what's the one with the with mordecai esther esther there you go yeah. esther haman haman he wanted to he wanted to destroy all of israel throughout the provinces during the uh, uh the uh medio persian empire yeah. god and even in the greek world right when the hellenist era you know, Ptolemy and Seleucus, you know, Antiochus, you know, it was like Antiochus the third fucking of Israel, Antiochus the fourth fucking of Israel, and then all the way to the future, you know, the Romans fucking it up in 70 AD. So it's, as you notice, it's been a long time coming and they're only getting closer and closer to now. Yep. Mm -hmm. God. You was finished on that? Yeah, Daniel, when we bring, oh, matter of fact, I'm going to jump to this, God. then we can jump to that. This is uh, what I was talking, talking about earlier. This is Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts, it says, therefore the heart of the son of man is fully setting him to do evil. It's fully setting them to do evil. So because the heavenly father doesn't get you right away, these so-called Edomites, well, these so-called white men, the, the Edomites, their mindset is to fully do evil because they realize, wait a minute, I'm, I've done all this wickedness on the earth and I haven't got no type of judgment for it. The most side must be with me, you know? So now they got it in their mind. They, gonna, they fully set to just do all matters of wickedness and evil, you know? But the scriptures say that the most high is a slow to anger, you know? 
So the most high, let your tab build up into the heavens, because the scriptures also say that one day is with the Lord is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. So even, even though in our minds it's slow, it's not really slow because uh, in the spiritual world, it's only the most um, the the Edomites, the Edomites have only been in power for what half a day, you know, for about roughly you know five hundred years. So really, it's really it's quick to the most high, but to us it seems slow. So in this devil's mind, he's thinking like he at least think he's gonna ride off into the sunset. That's why they got this new world order. They they plan on exterminating Jake, you know. No, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, because um, man, the most the most high. He 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 don't even he don't even oh he don't even need to work off the concept of time that we have man because yeah, really yeah. you you take a look at how the most how the most high is he exists pretty much everything's already said and done since yeah. the beginning since he even spoke the word it was already said and done that's why we're that's why we're just playing out the script that the Lord gave us man you know the yeah. Lord he could he could he could see everything he could see the future past the present all in one. All in one's uh, box, basically, man. He's able to he's able to move the earth around like Google Earth, see everything that's going on. They call it uh, they call it omnipotent. Where like uh, he can see the world as if he's living in your shoes, like as if he's in your body. He can see everything at at, at, at once, though. Like he can see. I'm, I'm I'm not just talking about us as being uh, humans. How they said humans, you know, mm -hmm. which we which the only we, the p human means p uh, hue meaning color. Which really the real humans are us because we got color, you know. But pretty much, he can see the world as if he's everything, you know, the animals, the trees, the plants. He's at like, and that, I'm, I'm just speaking about what we understand on the earth. I'm talking about the universe, it, not just that, the spiritual realm, you know. This is that the heavenly Father's glory is to be is, is beyond comprehension, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 I got a precept for you guys. Come. This is uh, Isaiah 46 and 10, declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. God, so through the Spirit, you know, like, like the brother was saying, you know, the Most High pretty much wrote the movie already. The movie's over. You know, it's like, that's why it's even being played, because the whole thing's already, it's already done, you know. So we're just pretty much watching the, the beginning, I mean, the, the end of the movie now, you know. Yep. We're going pretty much for the credits. Yeah, yeah. That was it. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I got I got a quick precept on what you were saying about the most high pretty much like he already knows what's gonna happen before it happens because he set it up before the foundation of the earth. This is second Ezra six and one. And he said unto me, In the beginning, when the earth was made, before the borders of the world stood, or ever the wind blew, before it thundered and lightning, or ever the foundation of paradise were laid, before the fair flowers were seen, or ever the movable powers. Uh, movable powers were established before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together or ever the heights of the air were lifted up before the measures of the firmament were named or ever the chimneys in Zion were hot or ere the present years were sought out or ever the, uh, the inventions of them that now sin were turned before they were sealed that have gathered faith for a treasure. So this is talking about before even the elect was created, you know. This is going back to when Yahweh existed himself. He was just, it was just him, you know. It was nothing that nothing existed but him. Not even his son was created, you know. It's his first thought was to create his son, and through his son, his son created the elect. And his um through that you see everything we see now. But it all started from the mind of Yahweh. He's the great, how they say it in the matrix, the great architect, you know. It says. It says, before they were sealed that gathered faith for a tre treasure, then did I consider these things. So the Most High considered everything that we're going through in his mind before it happened. And I mean everything to, to the details. The, the 50s, the 40s, the 70s, the 60s, the different details, the different eras of music, the different genres, World War II, World War II, everything that we've experienced on the planet Earth was all conceived through his mind. You know, Before he created anything, he said, this is how my story is going to go. You know, It says... Then did I consider these things all were made through me alone. So all everything we see and see is all made through the mind of Yahweh. And it's executed through his son, Yahweh Shai, and through his elect, you know. It says, All it says, all were made through me alone and through none other. By me also shall they be ended and by no other. So nobody's gonna end this but Yahweh himself, you know, which which he, which the scriptures gonna get into what's the end. Then answered I and said, 
when shall be the parting asunder of times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So this was all set up before the foundation of the earth, before anything was created. The Most High said, I'm going to create a wicked, evil being named Esau to teach my people what wickedness is. And at the, at the end of all the story, my people are going to overcome it, and they're going to be set up as the rulers of the earth, you know? So it, this is this is the most size movie. You can't get like, you can't get a better movie than this. Starting from the book of uh, Genesis to, to Revelations, and we living in it, you know. The book of Genesis meaning the beginning, you know. Starting from that's that that's the beginning of the movie to to uh, to Yahweh Shai's return to the to the elites going into slavery to all these nations being a subject unto us, you know. This this is all from the mind of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, starting with Yahweh, you know, and executed through his son Yahweh Shai, you know. And Lord's will, we be part of the elect. We were joint heirs with him that had a part in creating this. That's why we sigh and we cry so much for all the abominations because if we had a part in creating this earth, it, it would only make sense that we, it affects us the most because we're seeing something that we had a part in go to shit, you know? The birds is falling out the sky. Hell, the cows is all fucked up, you know? The trees is all depressed, you know? Everything is jacked up and it affects us. Everybody else is going about their day. Ah, you know, see birds falling out the sky or whatever, you know. To us, it bothers us because we're seeing something, Lord's will, if we be part of that number that we had a part in, get fucked up by who? The so-called white men, the devil, you know. If you want to say something, you got it. Hey, man. That's right. That's right. You know, everything that's going on on the planet Earth right now, it all was, it all was came from the mind of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the most high man. Yep. You know, and this this is his movie. And there's no there's no there's no uh there's no backseat to the movie either. There's no way out of it. You know, you got you have to play yeah. you are the, you are the nations, you Edomites, you have to play your role, man. There's yeah, no you play your role. And that's what that's what Esau wants to do. He wants to find a way to get up out of that man. He don't want to play yeah, that yeah. role. So he's trying to play he looking for any type of loophole Nigga, nigga, the director gave you the, uh, Salaki, you know, but the director gave you the part. You got to play out your part, nigga, all right? He looking for any type of way to escape his judgment. I mean, maybe if I do it like this, maybe if I go. No, you got to play out your role. The most High created you to be the devil, and you're going to be the devil until you be destroyed, you know? And, and uh, you, you know, he's done a hell of a job. I, I must say that. He's done a hell of a job playing this role, you know? Hell, you know? You got yeah. yeah, I got the scripture. Thank you, guys. This is uh, Isaiah... Um, 55, yeah, 55 and 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, all right? Neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. So, hey, Khan, you know, go ahead. You saw, even all of us, you know, if we think we're doing something for this reason, but in reality, we're doing it for another reason, for your help, Ashimi Ashai's reason, you know? You know, just you look at any, like ants, you know, ants look just like little workers and stuff, but when you look at, when you zoom out, you see the whole, the, the whole colony, the, the whole operation, so just like us now, we're pretty much doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, even the wicked. Well, Salaki, because you because you said that about ants, you take a look at take a look at ants, and you take a look at bees. They operate off of a hive mind, so they yeah. they operate off of one mind. All the little workers and the fighters and everything, they're all doing the queen's bidding. Yeah. And and they and if somebody comes, if something comes and attacks their hive, every last one of those ants will fight to the death to defend the queen because that's the way that they were programmed. God. And it's, it's the same it's the same thing on this earth. You know, you're going to do exactly what you were programmed to do. God, God, even flowers and stuff, you know, they pollinate, they, they control the animals and everything. It just comes to show you it, it, everything's interconnected, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, continuing. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. So again, like like we were saying, right? The ants or the hives, the bees. You take a step back, or you or you make, do anything against them, and you will see the whole reaction, right? Again, like the brother was saying, the earth is fucked up, and we, and it re, and you know we react to it, you know, because we're all part of it, you know. Lord willing, we're part of the elect, uh, the brothers who who made the uh, the earth, and here it is, you know, Esau's messing it all up, you know, Esau doesn't care, but we, you know, just the just not being able to see stars is already bug, bugging us out, you know. You know, um, these artificial lights and shit, you know, the artificial air, it's all co contaminated. The water's contaminated. You know, it, it's, it's not right. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts? All right. So again, the thoughts of Esau, you know, Esau go ahead thinking he's doing, he's doing his own bidding. You know, these are his own brilliant ideas. Again, like the weapon, right? That was his own invention. All right. So, hey, you know, again, my thoughts, are, my thoughts then you are, are so lucky. And higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. All right. So again, you know, pretty much Yahweh is controlling everything, you know. Yeah. Oh, you got it out. Yeah. I was just gonna say, like how, how you were saying Elder Manatazak, you were saying uh, you know, it, it bothers us the way things are. It, it's it's a very sad, it's a it's a it's a very painful thing when you because it tells you oppression make a wise man mad. You understand. You, we don't know what the earth uh, actually look like, you know, in its in its in its true form. You know, we we we're we're hoping to we're hoping to be able to see it. We're hoping, you know, you, you have brothers have children, okay. You and, and you look at the world, and it, it, if if we would if we didn't have this hope to where we could, you know, receive mercy and actually be able to get into the kingdom and see the way that things were always meant to be, your children would have to grow up here. That's hell, man. I would rather, honestly, I would rather kill myself, man. I would rather just die. Because, like the brother said, you can't even see the stars. You look at the ocean and it looks like, it looks like diarrhea, man. It looks like a toilet. Yep. It's, it's, but it's fucked up. And that's our hope. Because we got hope. Hey, the scriptures say, how shy shall come with healing in his wings. He's coming back to heal us and to heal the earth. He's coming back to restore order, which would only make sense because he's the one who the Heavenly Father gave charge over everything. So he's the one that's going to come back and set it in order. And us being Lord's will, be part of the elect, being the, the elect, being joint heirs with him, we're going to help restore that order, you know, to something we had part in the ancient world. So everything the Heavenly Father created is, is uh, what's that, Um, they call it, Um, it's full circle. God. It runs, it come, it come, everything is going to be restored back to what it was. It's going to, like the Most High pretty much is going to press the reset button on the earth. He's going to reset it to back how it was, you know, how it's supposed to be. To where in the ancient world, when you read the scripture, it says two, it took two strong men to carry a cluster of grapes. Think about that. Man, I could give a cluster of grapes to a baby. They'd pick that shit up and dingle it around and eat the shit, you know. We, it said it took two. And, you know, we was mitered back in the ancient world. We had bigger bodies. Them grapes probably was the size of basketballs. Because, you know, we had bigger bodies. So the food had to, uh, the earth had to produce more nutrients and more bigger fruit to sustain our bodies, you know? So pretty much right now, this is the lowest form that we've ever been on the planet Earth. You go outside, man, you look at these people, they're all obese, fat, out of shape, diabetes, all types of uh, health problems, because the Earth is the most sickest it's ever been, you know? All be going back to what the white men, the so-called white men, the Edomites. The scriptures say you're supposed to till the ground um, for six years, and on the seventh year, you let it rest so it can get its minerals back. What is the what so-called white man? Do we have farm the ground so there ain't no minerals left? Now you're growing fruit that ain't got no nutrients in it, you know? So you're eating it, but you don't get no effects from it. So we trying to eat healthy. We still not eat healthy, really, if you want to get technical. We all fucked up. You're just getting into the hand of the wicked. God. Yeah, I got a precept, though. This is um, Revelations 11 and 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants of prophets and to the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. So that's what the, the Heavenly Father is going to do. He's going to destroy them which destroy the earth, which is who, who's destroying the earth? The so-called white men, the Edomites, the biblical Edomites. You're the only ones, because during any time in any other captivity that we, they were in, they had some kind of regard for the, the land and the, the life around them. You no, know, other nations that were ruling, they had some type of regard for the um, for their agriculture and how they how they grew up their fruit, their crops and everything. This is the only devil I know that's going around putting GMO in the foods, poisoning the air that he got to breathe. You know, it's not a day that I don't wake up and I see a chemtrail being flown in the air. Shoot, putting holes in the ozone layer. What other nation do you know? If, when the Hamites, when have you known the Hamites to put holes in the ozone layer or the gooks? Only this devil would do something like that. And he's talking about what sending nukes to the moon to blow up the moon, which we know he want to do. He can't do it, but if he want, he wants to do it because pursuing that prophecy when the Most High said, if you can search out the depths of the sea, if you can take out the sun and the moon, you know, then why I do away with Israel? He's trying to do everything in his power to really do away with our nation because ultimately it goes back to the elites knowing who we are. 
that we're the Israelites and they're the Edomites and they want their birthright back. You know, ultimately, the higher ups, the higher, the, the top level Edomites are, are the elites. They know who we are as a people, you know, and their whole goal is to keep us from not knowing our power. But it's failed because the spirit of the Lord has entered into the uh, into the um, the prophets. You know, the body of Yahweh Shai is awakening. You know, you have some cotton, cotton, real quick. Come on. This is um, back you up. Um, so yeah, so like it. This is um, Ezekiel thirty seven and uh, and one. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the spirit of the Lord and sent me down in the midst of the valley which it was full of bones. Yep. Kind of pretty much talking about the elect, you know, pretty much talking about the uh, the 12 tribes, you know, um, you know, the 144,000 at the end of the day. That's pretty much the, the end game is, you know, everything in history, everything Donald Trump's doing, everything we're, we're all doing. It's all pretty much for that for that prophecy to, to come to pass. Huh. The Valley of Bones, we were in a dead state. We, we didn't know at one point we didn't know who we were. We were calling ourselves African-Americans, calling ourselves all these proverbs and these bywords that don't have, pertain to us. We can't open up the scriptures and read African American. You can't open up the scriptures and read Mexican or, or whatever, whatever um, nationality you was calling yourself. You know, we were we were dead. We not meaning we were physically dead. We were mentally dead. You know, and that's what, pretty much we are gonna get back into Isaiah the sixtieth chapter when it speaks about the light because the heavenly Father has given us His light. We are the light of the world. You know, I got that too. Okay, yeah, we're getting to that. You know. You know how the spirit is. That's what we wanted to get to, but the spirit have it all everywhere. You know. Oh, I got, I got my whole, my whole bar is full of scripts. Hey, you know, you know, you know. Hey, so let the spirit flow out. <laughs> you know? Go ahead. God, it caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, power thou knowest. Again, he said unto me. Prophesy upon these bones. And yeah, so Ezekiel, the prophet Ezekiel, the Lord opened his mind up and he seen Jake in a dead state. You know, he's seen a valley full of bones and um, pretty much that's like a metaphor for Jake being dead. He's seen niggas with mohawks. He probably seen Lil Wayne, all these niggas tattoos all over their face. He's seen these bitches and hoes blind and weave, weaving their hair, shaking their asses in the club, twerking. He like, oh shit, can these bones live, Lord? Oh, what the, oh man, he's he seen our nation through. He literally seen the most high opened his mind and said, this is what I'm going to do to the Israel. Like what we see now in our minds, or not in our minds, we've been woken to the truth. But And these niggas in the world, they thinking that's normal. These fucking bitches blind, weave hair, shaking their asses, tattoos everywhere. Ain't normal. That ain't how Israelite woman supposed to conduct herself. Or these wicked ass niggas out here game banging, drug dealing, you know, tattoos everywhere, killing, killing their own mother for record deals. Ezekiel saw this, you know. He said, Lord, can these bones live? Can these fucking niggas live? You know? Continue. God. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, uh, thy power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter in you and ye shall live. Yes, he shall cause breath to enter into us and we shall live. That's talking about his elect. Because out of all these obstacles that the Heavenly Father put us through in the world, we woke up to the truth. That, that, I, I, you got to realize what we got is beautiful. We actually, out of all these millions and billions of Israelites on the planet Earth, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gave us his truth, gave us the light, you know, gave us the answer, you know. He gave us the, because you, you know, growing up in the world, you always like, man, why am I here? Why, why am I, what's the purpose of life? The Heavenly Father gave us the answer. The scriptures say the fear, the, uh, the, this is the whole duty of the man, to fear the Most High and keep his commandments, you know? that's the, We're here on the earth to do the will of the Heavenly Father. And with that comes everything else, you know? Come And like the scripture said, and you shall live. Yep. You know, everybody else was heading to darkness and this whole world's heading to death. Yep. You know, we were go pretty much on the same path, you know, on, on the same uh, pretty much train. But the Most High gave us the light, the understanding. So we were able to get off the train, you know, leave Babylon spiritually. Yep, yep. You know, like that's what the scripture said, and you shall live. All right? Pretty much getting the statutes and commandments, which pretty much is the light of the world. Yep. Like, you know, like you read in Deuteronomy the fourth chapter, um, pretty much this is your your light in the sight of the nation. This is your wisdom in the sight of the nations. Meaning that's what that's what how they're supposed to look at us and say these what great nation is like unto this nation. What what great people are like unto these people? Because we have an actual way that we conduct ourselves. You know, we ain't supposed to be. That's why when brothers get together, we may go out to go get something to eat, or we may just be hanging out. People always gravitate to us and they say, oh, it's something different about y'all. Y'all don't act like the regular. They can, they can see that light. 
they can see that the spirit of Yahweh by Shema will shine as own as we have a way that we conduct ourselves as brothers, you know? We ain't just niggas in the world just doing whatever the fuck we want to do, you know? Go ahead. Uh, that was it on that. Okay. Right, I, got a, I got a quick precept for you just to back you up. Because um, you was getting into the dry bones in Ezekiel. So this is a precept on that. Um, Revelations 11 and 8. Oh, come okay, on, okay. okay. You had that? Yeah. Okay, that's the spirit. I'm going to bring it out. You break it down. Uh, Revelations 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. That's right. So they did, you know, just like the brother was reading in Ezekiel, you know, the, the talking about the Valley of Dry Bones. You know, we're in the Valley of Dry Bones right now. Okay, and it said that their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Okay, and when you when you look at Babylon in the scriptures, it says Babylon the Great. All right, and you know, a saying of Trump is to make America great again because once once America was called the Golden City, man, this was this was a place to come to. All right, and, and and to an extent, it still is because you know Hollywood and these different there's different witchcrafts that Esau does still has a lot of these nations a lot of these nations people fooled. All right, but now they're starting to be woken up to that through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. People are people are really uh, are beginning to see the wickedness of America, man. You know, and their dead bodies. Talking about Israel, okay? Israel in a in a dead state, not knowing who they are, okay? And and also which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, because here is where uh, uh, the Lord had Israel put on slave ships and, and, and taken taken over here to serve slavery, man, where our Lord was crucified. OK, because they took the image of the Lord and they and and and, and they pretty much uh, destroyed the image of the Lord, man. Because when you read the image of the Lord in the scriptures, it describes a so-called Negro that you would you would you, you would see today, so-called African-American. And, and the scriptures tell you that long hair is an abomination, but they put this pasty ass devil with long hair as the image of our Lord and Savior, man, which which is a false image. That's how they crucify the Lord over here. Yep. I continue, it says, and they of the people and kindred and tongue and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Yeah, there was no, there was, there was no uh, memorial. There was no, uh, uh, this is the Israelites over here. You know, they're all up in the ghettos. They're in slavery. They're catching hell. These are the Israelites. Nah, nah. He, he he took he took the heritage. It tells you in the I believe it was Job. You oppress a man even in his heritage. So yeah. so he t he, t he took uh, Israel's heritage from us, and he said, "Well well these ain't Israelites. These are niggers, man. These ain't Israelites. These are these are wetbacks. These are spicks, man. All right. These are these is uh, sand niggers. These are all all different types of bywords, which goes back to the pro uh, 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 the the curses that's in Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter, yeah. right." And then that's that scripture. He said he shall destroy the covering cast, the cover over all people, meaning all these false names that he put on us, you know. So the, the Lord is waking us up back to who we are and we're ultimately raising up the prophets. We're letting you the whole world know who they are. You ain't no more, uh, you ain't no um no Asian, you a Moabite, you an Ammonite, you ain't no um no African, you a Hamite, you know, for whatever tribe, you know. You 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 you, you ain't niggas speaks, you Israelites, you know, you you a prince of the power, you know. I'm gonna um, read, read it back up. It says, "And their dead body shall." Uh, well, I'm gonna start at that. And their dead body shall lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Which that's talking about America, because America pretty much represents Sodom. Well, what's going on in America? You can be a homosexual, faggot, lesbian, bisexual, going back to Sodom and Gomorrah. It's the same morals they hold the same standards in, in, in America, you know. And Egypt, because what is America saying, holds the same customs as Egypt, you know? So America is the modern day Egypt. It's not talking about the ancient Egypt. Like the brother said, whilst our Lord was crucified, they took the image of our Lord and they put their image up as him. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, roughly talking about 350 years, going back to the, um, what's the uh, time frame, I believe? Um, roughly going back... Uh, we we came awoke roughly around the nineteen seventies. I believe it was fourteen. Uh, so like I'm, I'm not. Uh, I, I got to look it up on the time frame, but I know it's roughly around the fourth um, nineteen seventy. During that during that time, 
from the time of slavery during the time of 1970s when Abba Bivens came on the scene and then we were woken back up to who we are as a people, going back to the prophecy of Malachi when he says, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming and dreadful day of the Lord. You shall turn the hearts of the children back to their father. So him coming on the scene, because prior to that, you have different other factions that were telling us we're Israelites, but he pretty much got into the full details that we are the Israelites. And then through the spirit, the Lord had other prophets come on the scene and pretty much expound on it. Okay, what tribe is which, you know, the Lord sort of suffering with different, different um, our, of our elders, elders to know to bring out this truth. So that, that was, that's fulfilling this prophecy said at the 300, um, it says, and it says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, while also our Lord was crucified. And the and they of the people and kindreds and tongue and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, which is 350 years, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they, sh and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. Yeah, this yes. Most it. Like it. I mean, that's what that's what that's what it is, man. Because like I was saying earlier, you going going uh going way back. All right. These are the nations, these are the nations ever since ever since Moses took them across the Red Sea and they went they went to, to uh man, I can't remember who they destroyed first. Um when they were coming up in the land of Israel, way on the other side of Jordan, and they went up against Moab, and, and they destroyed somebody else over there on the in, on the wilderness side of the Jordan. Yeah. And but Moab was seeing Moab was seeing Israel coming, and, and they were well, pretty much Israel going going up through the coast of all these different nations. They were in great fear of Israel. All right, and uh, that's that's during the time when Moab was trying to get uh, Balaam to to curse Israel, but instead they got they got blessed three times by him. You know, and these these uh, other nations have been wanting to take down Israel for a very long time, and, and through through Yahweh Hashem Yahushai through Esau. It finally happened, and so when when Israel was taken down and destroyed, and, and, and their heritage taken from them and put into slavery, these other nations they all rejoiced over that, and they they pretty much saw. That's why all these other nations well uh, have been worshiping Esau for so long, man, because yeah. really they, they look up to Esau because of because of what happened to the nation of Israel. All right, they look at Esau like as as if it as if Esau is their savior, you know, because because, because these other nations were catching hell. Yeah, because you gotta realize, like the scriptures say, when we when we uh when we when we serve Yahweh by Shema Shah, no other nation could come against us. It tells you that in the book of Judith. If you I mean if you want to get that, you know, kind of spirit, it tells you that in the book of Judith. As long as we write with our power, no other nation could come against us. We were we because you gotta put put yourself in the mindset as if you were one of these other nations. Here it is, you got this mighty great nation that just got delivered out of the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh's whole army got destroyed, got drowned in the Red Sea. And this is uh, famous, went throughout the four corners of the earth. And here comes this mighty nation coming through your land, killing you, killing all your children, killing your family, taking over your shit. Then they going and spoiling it. You looking at them like they the enemy. So all these heathen nations, they all they always looked at us like, man, these these uh these this these uh, Israelites, man, they the end. They gonna kill everybody, you know. But really, that's how the Most High set it up because we above you, we above you nations, you know. So they they found out that as long as there be iniquity in us, our God, our power is not going to be with us. So that's why Esau pushes all this wickedness on our nation because he knows that we don't. If, as long as we go off against Yahweh by Shema Shai's law, statutes, and commandments, they can have a ru rulership over us. What's that? Is in Psalms so they have taken crafty counsel against us. It's Psalms eighty three. Yeah, eighty three. If you want to get that, you know they have taken crafty counsel against us. They actually meet up to this very day. The elites. And all these heathen nations, they link up and they say, how can we cut these people off from being a nation? What can we do to keep them going off? Okay, let's put uh, let's put liquor stores in their hood. Okay, let's let's push Little Wayne on them. Let's push all these ni ni these little fucking, what's some, what's some new niggas on? Little U Uzi Vert. I don't know these niggas. Yeah, know these little niggas Uzi niggas. Vert, Little where the fuck these niggas name? Let's push all these little rap niggas on them and influence them because we know that the young generation is impressionable. And once we get the young generation, we got the minds of the next generation. You know, that's why they call this generation Generation Z. Because these little fucking niggas, I'm looking at it. These little 90 babies, these little 97 babies, these little fucking little, uh, they like, they hitting their teens and, and, and 20s now. These niggas grew up off Little Wayne and shit. 
that, that's their elders. And them niggas is bugged out. So how much more? Now, now these little rap niggas is all on some faggot shit. You got niggas rapping with fucking uh with fucking rainbow hair try, talking about he thug in the ear, thug. Get you know, you gonna say something? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get the scriptures for you right quick. Okay, okay, Jer okay. Jeremiah 50 and 7. All that found them devoured them, and the adversary said, We offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord, the habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. Yeah. So as long as they knew that, as long as we not right with you, how about Shima Shah? They can have a have a have a way way to uh, destroy us, you know. They knew as long as we don't we don't serve you, how about Shima Shah? There's a way in, you know. We have to get iniquity in there. Which what's iniquity? That's that's ultimately sin. With sin bring us forth death. Ultimately, you got to get them demons on them to make them go off, so the Most High can reject them, you know. Because it tell you that um, what's that um, dude Achan? He took that Babylonian garment, and then when we had went to war. We got put to death. We got fucked up. And we we, we uh, had a council. We realized that uh, somebody had committed iniquity. So we had to call all the families and we found out it was Aiken. This nigga had stole some, I think it was, uh, he stole the garment and some, uh, some, some gold. Or, or, you know, I got to read back up on the story to get it you know, 100%. But for the most part, he went off and stole that Babylonian garment, which caused our whole nation to get fucked up. So that shows you, they got that, you think they don't have that in the records? They know that as long as Israel is not right with Yahweh Bashima Shah, we can rule over them. So they live this this whole earth is based upon keep Israel going off so we can keep our power going. Because the scriptures say the earth was made for our sake. And the scriptures also say that, that, that um, uh, we were placed on the earth to fear the Most High and keep his commandments. So if we ain't doing what the Heavenly Father told us to do, he's going to raise up another nation to rule over us. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, tells you that. You know, if, if you know. Um, if, uh, he says, if you don't keep my commandments, all these curses shall come upon you. Thou shalt go come to the end, your enemy for the want of all things, you know. So these nations, they know this, these scriptures are real. But what the, what, the, what, what fucked them up? They didn't con consider that the most I had a remnant that's going to wake up out of this, you know. That they, they That's why I tell you, matter of fact, I wanted to go back to Revelation 11 because I didn't get a chance to finish it. I'm going to finish it up real quick. There's a point I wanted to get to. This is Revelation 11 and 10. It says, and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets torment them that dwell on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them and they stood upon their feet. That's talking about us. After three days and a half, the spirit of Yahweh Hashim Abishai came upon us, roughly um, going back to 1970 when Abba Bivens came on the scene. And then through his um, his under underlings and through, through 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 our elders elders teaching our uh, elder apostles and them on down teaching us and us teaching other brothers the body of Yahweh Shai is awake, you know. It says that after three days and a half the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet. So we the dead we ain't dead no more, you know. And great fear fell upon them when they saw them. That's talking about the elites. Great fear. How did y'all figure this out? How did y'all figure out that y'all the Israelites? That's that's why they 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 they, they blocking channels. They deleting brothers' channels. They deleting brothers' live shows. They they yeah. I went to go search for um the brother ICR's page. You know, I went to go see uh search for his page. They blocking his page from the search engine. Only two videos come up that other brothers re uploaded from the brothers' page, showing you that they got to meet. They Esau getting ready to push that net neutrality on the high level, which go back to the um the family of the word Amos. No, because this word is getting to the devil. Great fear is falling upon him because he knows the more we rise up, the more he, he gets brought down. You know, the body of your house shy is, is, is awoke and our awakening and his downfall. No, you ask him. God, God, I was just going to say, you know, through spirit, that's why Esau um, goes through all the records and all this ancient civilizations, you know, Babylonian Empire, you know, Persian Empire, the Greek Empire, the Roman Empire, because he knows that, all right. So he says, all right, there's a, there's a, the scriptures say, all right, the Exodus, is that real? He'll go into the Egyptian history and he'll look it up and he'll be like, oh shit, it is real. And then, all right, so if that, if, if that deliverance was real, what else is real? Yep. And he'll go to the next empire and he'll be like, all right, what happened in, uh, with, with the Persians? Oh, there was a great um, um, deliverance as well. Oh shit, okay, he'll look it up. I can't believe it's real. Go to the next empire, even till this day, you know, even right now, he's still bugging out, you know. It's like, man, is this is this real? Yeah, because the devil, he got all the archaeology of everything. He he searches out everything. You know, the scriptures say he's wiser than Dan. There's pretty much there's nothing here from him. He searches out everything. He found Pharaoh's chariots. 
he found where uh, Noah's Ark landed over there, and I think it's in the mountain uh, uh, Turkey over there, Mount Ararat. Ararat. Yeah, yeah, kind. So he found Noah because you can go to a satellite imagery, and you can see the the shape of the ark is imprinted on the top of the mountain, showing you they actually know that that was real. That's the flood happened. That's the reason why the earth is actually split up the way it is because of the flood. And even though, um, because they can say they call it Pangea, the earth can actually fit together like a puzzle. So they know that these scriptures are real, you know. God, and they're spiritual. That's why he saw, you know, he'd go ahead and read them and read them all day and he'd get some historical understanding, but he'll never understand the spirit of the Lord. Because to get the spirit of the Lord, you got to fear the Lord, first of all, and you and you got to be humble, yep. you know. And Esau doesn't doesn't fear the Lord and definitely is not humble. Which there's no fear in the Lord of Esau. He, Esau hates the Lord, you know. He hates, the, he hates righteousness. He hates, that's why the scriptures say the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. He hates Yahweh Shemal Shah. And that's why Yahweh Shemal Shah hates him. Because he's the adversary. He was created by the Most High to be the, the, the wicked, the devil. He pretty much was created to show the earth what it is to be wicked. This is what the Most High pretty much is putting us through a big learning experience. This is how I created the earth, and this is how you, you're not supposed to live on the earth. And that's and when he sets us up, he's gonna show the world this is how you're supposed to live on the earth through it through his through his elect man, you know. That's why when we go back to Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. It said, this is your wisdom in the sight of the nations. We're going to show the earth what it is to be righteous and serve Yahweh by Shem al and keep his commandments, you know? That's why I tell you, um, Proverbs, I think Proverbs 29, God you God get God. it, you know? When the, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear rule, the people mourn because when we get in our power, we're going to restore the earth back to its, its glory, which ultimately is going to intend on everybody else going back to being healthy. Ain't going to be no GMO foods in our kingdom. Ain't gonna be no fucking uh chemtrails in our kingdom. Ain't gonna be no uh slice splicing genes in our kingdom. Ain't gonna be no homosexuals, no faggots, lesbians in our kingdom. You know, we're gonna set up a kingdom based upon righteousness, based upon the the will of Yahweh by Shina was shot. Go ahead. Come on. This is uh Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So when we get in our power, the whole earth is gonna rejoice. They tell you that in Isaiah the 14 chapter, even even the trees. Are going to uh, break out into singing. They're going to actually. The animals are going to sing. Everybody's going to go back to uh, uh, being happy because the earth is going to go back to how it was supposed to be. Which, like I was saying earlier, if we part of the elect, it would make sense because we had a part in creating it all. So we, it's only going to be right. The Most High is going to bring it back full circle and have us under His Son restore it all back to what it was. You know, like brothers like to use an analogy. Like you build a, a nice car. You put the fancy wheels on it. You paint, give it the nice ass paint job. You 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 put the uh, the beat in it. You know you got uh, you got the shit looking real nice. And then you let your 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 your, your big brother, your older brother here. You can borrow it for a month. I'm going out of town. I'll be back. And you come back, your shit all fucked up. The windows busted. <laughs> the tires flat. <laughs> what the fuck you do to the car? You gonna be mad as shit, you know? Hey, hey, how was shocking? What the fuck this devil do to the earth? You know? As hey, you the most I gave you temporary rulership over the earth. You didn't fuck every damn thing up. God damn. Even the hair mice didn't put holes in the ozone layer. <laughs> and them motherfuckers, you know, they gonna pay too. Hell, even the goddamn gooks, well, they fucking the heathen and shit, but they even, you know, all you nations gonna get it. But damn, you do devils. That's there's a reason why the most high said you're gonna be exterminated. That's the only nation on the planet Earth that he's gonna get rid of because we're gonna have no need for you after a thousand years of your your, your payback, you know? Go ahead. Come on. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear through all, the people mourn. Yeah, that's why everybody's mourning. That's why we talking. That's why we catching hell, man. You on yoids? We, we yeah, people are all on the opioids. Got to be on all these drugs, trying to hide their pains because we catching hell, man. Because the devil. Here it is. I gotta wake up in the morning and I want to take a fresh. It's our God given right. I'm saying this to every living being on the planet Earth. It's your right to breathe clean air. We live in a, in a, in a, in a, in a well, if you, if you are air breathing creature, you got the sea breathing creatures, you know, even they catch them here. They got, they got fucking oil in the, in the water. It's, it's our right to break up and take a good uh, smell of clean air and get that oxygen flowing in your body. Whatever, whatever creature you are, the, the deers, the ants, you know, here it is. Everybody's suffering. This devil got shit all in the air, all cars everywhere polluting the air. Hell, 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 the fucking birds dropping out the skies. Hell, you got plastic all in the ocean. You got uh, 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 fucking uh, sea otters swallowing plastic bottles, throwing up and, and beaching themselves. Whales beaching themselves. Everything is fucked up under the rulership of you so-called white people, you know, because you're the devil. The devil. You, you, you saw the dirtbag. 
Yeah, he's a dirt bag, you know. Dirt bag. I got a script. He, yeah, go ahead, I. Yeah, yeah, because you were saying the Esau hates the most high. Okay. This is Isaiah 45 and 9. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Let the posture strive with the posture of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, fashioneth it, what makest thou or thy work? He hath no hands. Huh. Yeah, you can speak on it out. Yeah, yeah. So he's saying, woe to him that striveth with his maker. Destruction. And that's what you Edomites are doing. You're striving against your maker. All right. That's why you're polluting everything. That's why you're destroying everything. You know, because you're just an angry, foul uh, uh, cave cut, man. Uh, yeah. a, brute, a, brute, uh, a, a brute beast, man. All right. And you, you're like an angry little kid that, that was scorned of his father and, and wants to do everything he possibly can to get back at his father, just like Esau did. What happened with what happened with Esau? He said he said that the, the they grieved his mother for him to be to be getting with them Canaanite women. So what did Esau go and do? He got with a bunch of Canaanite women. You know what I mean? That, that's the spirit. Of, that's the spirit of this devil, man. You know, every, anything that's against the Most High, he's gonna do it, man. Because the spirit is not upright in him. He's been rebellious since the beginning. He's been going against the Most High. Hey, go back to the in the garden with Cain and uh, Abel. Here it is. The Most High told you specifically what he wants to sacrifice to him. This nigga gonna bring some fruits to the Most High. You know, nigga <laughs> gonna sacrifice the Most High with the motherfucking fruits. <laughs> you know. Mosai, hey, he, then he gonna kill his brother and lie about it, you know. And then he, he, the Lord said, "Look, the voice of your brother cried unto me." So he already knew from the beginning that this man's a devil. That's why he put that mark upon him, you know, which that mark of leprosy, you know, showing you the, uh, that mark of who the wicked is of the earth, you know. But uh, you asked something. Um, yeah, just maybe back here, but you want to go with your first. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah you can bring it up. God, this is uh pretty much going into you know Esau, pretty much like you're saying, defiling the whole earth, you know. It says um, Isaiah 24 and uh, 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. All right. So again, like pretty much like we were saying earlier, you know, people pretty much are mourning. We're mourning. We're, man, fuck everybody else. We're mourning, you know. You know? And that's pretty much all because of Esau, you know. And why? Because Esau does everything that's against life. And what is life? Again, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, the light. You know, right? Everything else is darkness. Everything else is death. You know, polar opposites, right? So it says, um, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws. Again, you know, if you didn't transgress the laws, right? You kept the land Sabbath, you know, you didn't fish the, the, the wrong fish, right? Is, is, isn't that been on the news recently, right? Like these um, fishing companies are pretty much are uh, pretty much destroying the whole um, eco ecosystem of the water. Yeah, they oh, they over because there's there's a balance on the earth. The heavenly Father created an ecosystem. You can't you can't have too many of anything because it, it it it'll overthrow each other. Everything works in unison with each other. So the, you know the Esau he'll overfish or overdo something, trying to be over greedy. He throw off the ecosystem. Now now the water's uh not being purified how it's supposed to be because you're taking out everything that's purifying. It. You got you got that show. I don't know, brother, if you ever seen it. It's on Discovery Channel, the uh, Crab Hunters, where they throw that big ass fucking gate in the, in the middle of the water and they pull it out and it's like crab, all types of crabs and shit. Yeah, deadliest catch. Yeah, deadliest catch. I, you know, I used to watch that shit um, when I was staying at my mother's spot years ago. But that shit, um, that shit showed you that Esau's the fucking devil. Here it is. That job is one of the most dangerous jobs you can do. Showing you, you ain't supposed to be doing that shit. A lot of the motherfuckers be getting put to death doing that shit. The, the sea is rocking back and forth. Because it's a certain season where they call it crab season. And, and it's showing you that you're not supposed to eat it because when they pull out that thing, it's an innumerable amount of crabs in that in that big ass cage. You know? That shit is packed full of crabs. It's, it's a bundle. And they charge you over the wall for this shit as if it's a delicacy. Like that's top of the line food. You know? Like that's that's the cream of the crop. A nigga, a nigga say he made it, he eating lobster and shrimp, you know. I'm eating lobster and shrimp. Nigga, that's the abomination. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, the, uh, the, they call it the roaches of the sea, you know. Those foods are not to be consumed. Those are meant to clean the earth, to clean the sea. They have a purpose. Everything, creature has a purpose. But Esau, he's throwing off the purpose of the earth. You know, crab, when we, because even, even the crabs and the shrimp and the lobsters, they're going to rejoice because they're going to be able to do their thing. They're going to be cleaning up the ocean in the kingdom of heaven, you know. Go ahead. God, because they have transgressed the laws. Change the ordinance, right? Again, like the brother was saying, keep saying, you know, keep doing going against the most high, against pretty much what, what life is, how the earth was set up in the first place. 
changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant, therefore had the curse devour the earth. All right. Again, you know, that's why everything is destroyed. And they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burnt and few men are left. You know, and ultimately, that's pretty much why, you know, it's going to have to throw a world's war, you know, because most has to clean it all up. You know, it's like when you have a car and you fucking total it, you know, hey, you might as well get a new car. Yeah, yeah. You got to clean it. You can't you can just pretty much fix it. Because you got to realize fire, fire is a cleansing agent. What the most high going to do, he going to kill two birds with one stone. He going to burn up this earth and, 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 and you know, and, and cleanse the earth of wickedness. And on one end, he's going to use the fire to actually uh, uh, renew the earth, you know. So he's going to bring actually the fire to, and it, and it makes sense because the scriptures uh, explain it as the first death, which the first death was when the most high flooded the earth with the water. He cleaned the earth with water. And what did that water do? We created something called the Pangea, where it split the earth to where we see it now. You got different patches of land on different parts of the earth. That was one way he cleansed the earth, but he's going to do it a different way with fire. He's going to actually cleanse the earth and create new new patches of land with the nuclear missiles, you know? Because Israel, that land of Israel is going to get hit, but it's going to expand. We're going to have more land. It's going to be turned into a paradise again. So the whole earth, the whole makeup of the earth is going to change with this fire. So he's going to kill two birds and one stone. He's going to get rid of the wicked then he's going to set up righteousness, you know? He's going mm -hmm. to get rid of the wicked, cleanse the earth of wickedness, and then bring righteousness and bring forth new land. So that's the mo that's the power of the Most High right there, you know? You got it out? That was it. I got, oh, I got it. oh, go ahead then, sorry. And then, you know, through the Spirit, we probably hop back in Isaiah 60. You don't know we've been trying to get to that, you know? <laughs> You know how the spirit is. That's why. That's why I said when uh, uh, before we even started listening, I was like, "This is gonna be a long one." Yeah, it's gonna be a long. And the spirit, you know, every time brothers brothers get together, hey, it be like, you know, we say we say, let's make it quick. You know how the Lord is, you no? Know? Hey, let the Lord, 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 want to He going to speak? You know, I got a precept. This is Ecclesiastes seven and seven. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and the gift destroyeth the heart. You can speak on it. Out. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, oppression makes a wise man. Man, see, you got to be a wise man to even realize that you're being oppressed in the first place. You know, the whole thing that we was going into, uh, uh, sorrow part, that, that scripture that you read, you just read, you still got it? Um, yeah, Isaiah. Kind of, kind of. Yeah, can you, can, you, can you run that? Can you run that one from the top? And just, I just want to, I just want to hit a certain point in there that I heard. Bubba Shah. Kind of, kind of. kind of, kind of. Isaiah 60 twenty-four and um four. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Yeah, the haughty people of the earth do languish. Okay, when you look up the word language, it means that they basically having a good old time, man. They're waxing rich. All right. They're waxing rich through the abundance of this devil's delicacies. And that's why it talks about, you know, uh, uh these other nations have gone mad with the wine. Uh, of uh, Esau, basically, man, because you other nations, you join heirs with Esau. That's why you ain't getting off the hook. That's why you're going into slavery too, all you other nations, because you you doing the same thing that Esau is doing right now. You following after his ways, okay? And 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 that's that's why this entire earth is 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 actually being oppressed, man. The world itself is being oppressed, not just Israel, okay? And even these other nations are being oppressed by Esau, man. But the ones that's mainly being oppressed is Israel and the and the earth itself, the animals, okay? You know, because the animals, they have spirits, the trees, okay? The the, the vegetation, all the, the plants, they all have spirits as well. And Esau ain't doing nothing going around destroying everything, polluting the world, polluting the earth. This damn devil will go and he'll fish for sharks and he'll kill sharks, They'll kill sharks by the by the hundreds of thousands just for the fin and throw their dead bodies back into the ocean, man. Okay. So oppression make a wise man mad. A wise man sees these things and he understands that, that, that we're being oppressed. Okay, oppression oppression is to be held down. All right. And that's what Israel that's what's happening to Israel. We're being held down. And the main way that Israel, uh, Israel is being held down is the so-called white man having his foot on our back and, and, and putting pushing so much wickedness upon the earth. Just by just by this damn devil creating such a thing as BET and and and, and uh, uh, reality TV shows, that's oppression in itself because it's perpetuating because because everything is set up as an order. You got the you got the old men that teach the young men, but if the old men are teaching the young men wickedness, that's oppression in itself, man. And that's what Esau has set up. He had he doesn't have order set up. He has disorder set up, man.
so yeah, so that so that so that from the from the ancient all the way to the to the newborn babe, it's nothing but wickedness being pushed on, which is which is oppression, man. Because we have to look at our people, we have to see the 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 condition that they're in because this so-called white man uh, refuses to be in order, you know, but all, all through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So oppression make a wise man mad and a gift destroyed the heart. So even if you have a wise man, say you have a so-called uh, wise man, say you have somebody like Nay Satan, he used to be a wise man at one point in time, I believe. He he knew the truth. He knew the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but that gift that, the, that Esau gave him, it, it destroyed his heart, man. And now he's saying you could call you could call the Lord whatever whatever you want to. Okay, the Passover is a time for fun. This damn devil Nate, he said that we would be eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the Lord comes, and that means that we're just gonna be having fun doing what, what whatever the hell we want to do until Yahweh Shai returns. That's what that's what he's pushing, man. He not he not he not warning the people. He pretty much took that uh, that Judas. He ain't, he ain't warning the people of the, the destruction that's coming. Bro. But he became a Edomite. Now he's now he's in a now he's an oppressor too. Now he's oppressing Israel, man. Yep. Yeah. So that hey, that's why Nate. If he don't repent, the blood is gonna be on his hand. All this congregation, is, all that blood is gonna be on your hand. You know, if if some of them ain't of the elect, and the Lord delivers some of them out of that, but you know. Oh, ultimately, ultimately, it's all part of the Heavenly Father's movie. So, you know, matter of fact, if you had some, we could jump right back into uh, uh, we can get with man. Matter of fact, if you want to get technical, this is the start of the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah 60. This is where we're going to start. Yeah, yeah, get it. Yeah, we're gonna, we gonna make it, we're gonna make it, uh, we're gonna uh, hit a few points. I just wanted to pretty much hit a few points on how we because pretty much it's all going back to like. That's why the so-called white man has to be taken out because he's he's the uh, he's the he's the darkness of the earth. He's bringing wickedness to the earth. But the heavenly Father is gonna set up his elect as being the light of the world. We're gonna bring the earth to uh, righteousness, you know. Because when we when these nations are in the kingdom, we're gonna bring them under the law, statutes, and commandments. They're not gonna be doing their own thing. They're gonna have to reverence our power, do do uh, participate in our law, statutes, and commandments. You know, do uh, co conduct their life in our in our manner of how we say to do it. You know. It ain't gonna be. Oh, I'm gonna just do my own. Ain't no, you doing your own thing. It's either our way or death. That's what it is. That's what it's gonna be. You know. Uh, if you want to get it, yeah. God. It's Isaiah 60 and one. Arise, shine, for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Yeah, the glory of the Lord, the glory of Yahweh Shinau Shah is risen upon us. Meaning, He's given us all His word. He's given us His wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, which comes through what the fear of Him. Us fearing Yahweh Shema Shah is him opening up our minds to his understanding. Because we know the judgment's coming. We know what it is to sin and what, what comes from that. We don't want to go through that shit. I don't want to go through nuclear destruction or famine or having to see your, your family uh, starve to death, you know, having to go through all these plagues that's coming on the earth. We want to have a hedge and protection from that, you know. So we fear the Lord, which us fearing the Lord, meaning what? We want to do what he tell us to do. Okay, if you don't want this to come on, come on to you, this is what I do to people that don't do what I say to do. And this is what I'm going to do to people that do say what I do. I'm going to protect them, you know. Scripture says, whoever ever trusted in the Lord has been confounded or where would a righteous cut off. So if we do what the Heavenly Father tells us to do, he's going to protect us through all this. And that's where that fear comes in. That's why we do what we do. We go out to the highways and the byways. We're doing shows like we do now because we fear the Lord. We know that this thing, what's coming to the earth is real, you know. And we don't want to have no part in that. We want the, we want to look, the Lord to pardon us from, from, his, from his wrath, you know. No, I don't yeah. know. No, I don't know anybody that wants to feel the wrath of the heavenly Father when it comes on you. I ain't that. Shit, it, was, it ain't shit. Ain't no joke. You know. Ask anybody that had to feel the wrath of the Lord. Or the people in them tornadoes. You know, the scripture say, "Thou shalt be visited of, visit of the Lord of hosts with thunder, with earthquakes, storm, and great tempest." You know, wild beasts ripping people's faces off. That's the wrath of the Lord. You know, that's what the wicked of the earth is gonna have to feel. Continue. It says, "Uh." For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. So we live in a time where the whole earth is saturated in darkness. Everybody's mind is dark. Everybody's in, in, in a dead state of mind. Like we read back in um, Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, when um, I, um, Ezekiel saw the dead bones, you know, the dead bodies. Pretty much it was, it was darkness. People's minds were gone, you know. But he seen the elect be brought back to the light, which that's talking about us. But the world is in gross darkness. Everybody's mindset is not geared to the Heavenly Father, you know? 
People don't know who you are by Shimmy Al Shai's. People don't know. Mainly, I was talking about our people. Fuck the other nations. The two thirds of our people, you know, fuck the motherfucking heathen. They gonna, they gonna, uh, they don't, the Lord don't give a fuck about them anyway. I'm speaking about uh, you, you Israelites that are in a dead state of mind. You don't know the Lord. You know, you, 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 you you're in gross darkness. You in everything, you in everything under the sun other than worshiping the most high, you know? Niggas, niggas is, uh, niggas is worshiping basketball, uh, rap, bitches. Uh, niggas' mindsets is in everything else other than the most high. Niggas actually worship Buddha. Here it is. It's a fat ass God, an overweight God. You think I'm gonna worship a guy that can't even keep his own self in, in shape? You, fuck it, you know. But but you got niggas that actually were. I think Russell Simmons is a, a is a, a Buddhist. You know. You got niggas that actually in, into every philosophy under the sun, other than worshiping the heavenly Father. So they're in gross darkness. You know. Continue. Okay. It says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arrive upon arise upon thee. And his glory shall be seen upon thee. That's talking about his elect. The Lord's glory is, is rising upon us and his glory is seen upon us. We're shining. We got the light. Matter of fact, I'm going to get a real quick precept on that. Because it tells you that in Daniel's, I'm going to just get a real quick stop and just read. What better way than read it straight from the scriptures? This is Daniel's 12. Daniel's 12 and 3. And it says, Daniel 12 and 3, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. So they that be wise, we're going to shine like, like the brightness of the firmament. That's literally talking about in the kingdom, our new bodies are going to actually shine. But that's literally talking about the most high put the light on us. So we actually shine it, you know? We got the, we got the most high's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know? I think that's the brother right there through the spirit. We got the most high's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The heavenly father has put his light upon us, and our light is shining amongst the world, you know? Continue. Matter of fact, uh, I'm going to read it again. It says, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn men into righteousness as the stars forever and ever. So we shine in the heavenly father's light is shining from within us. The world can see it, you know? We could we we shine in in a world full of darkness, you know. The heavenly father's light is upon us, you know. Yeah, you got it out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, it, and it talks about the simplicity of the scriptures, man. It, it tell it tells you that my burden is light. The wisdom is actually is actually very simple to them that could receive it. Okay, because really, really the path was laid out for you. Everything is laid out for you, man. All you gotta do is follow that follow that straight path. Pretty much just keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, and everything else will fall into place after that. I mean, you don't even got to do much because the spirit of the Lord will come upon you and, and, and will, will teach you what to do and show you what to do. So you're going to have wisdom on you just 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 as a gift uh, from Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, just for you being in order, man. And that's really that's really all it is. That's really what what uh, uh, all it is is just being in order. You know, following yeah, yeah. after the, following after the Lord is simple. It's super simple. Yeah, yeah. And that, like I said, that comes from that fear. Because, like we said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of the wisdom and understanding. Us fearing the Lord makes us what want to be in order. You know, like you got you got your child, your child. Let's say if you instill your child, you instill the fear in your child. Your child fears you. He's gonna want to do what you say because he knows if he don't do what you say, there's gonna be uh, consequences for that. He might get his ass whooped. You know, but him fearing you and doing what you say. Well, that might bring rewards to him. Okay, my son's doing what he told me, what I told him to do. Okay, I, I got a, I got a reward for you. You know, that's the same way with us, with the heavenly Father. You know, you know, because pretty much we're all the heavenly fathers. We're, we're, we're his, um, we're his, we're his sons. You know, so he's pretty much bringing the, um, he's pretty much the fear upon us to fear him, to fear him, to to let him know. Like if we go off, I'm a judge. You. That's why when we, us men of the Lord, if we go off, judgment comes quick because it says that whom the Lord love will be chastened. You know. The Lord loves us, so if we go off, he'll bring he'll bring correction on you quick to get your ass in order, you know? Your son go off, you see your son, let's say your son in the, in the store playing on the clothes racks, throwing clothes racks on the ground with a bunch of other kids. You don't give a fuck about the other kids. The first thing that's going to come into your mind, what the hell is my son? You're going to grab him by the arm because he represents you. He's actually representation of you. So by him going off and out of order, that's making you look bad, you know? So he, you, you, you correct somebody that's yours, and that's the same way the Heavenly Father is doing with us, you know. And he did it with with his son, you know, two thousand years ago when he corrected him 
when he had he when he had to um die for all his sins that he did, you know, as when he was um King Solomon, when he was um Adam, you know. So, you know, you got it. Oh yeah, uh, real quick, you how about shimmy on shot broke to El Elder Kwan Yeah, uh, I had a script for you real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Huh? Yeah, this is uh this is Matthew 7 and 8. For everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be open. Or what man is there of you, whom, if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Just showing, just showing you that if you in if you in the right spirit, if you following after the law, statutes, and commandments, and, and being pleasing unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know if you got a child and you and you being evil are, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more is the heavenly Father going to reward you for your good works and the things that you're doing that's pleasing unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yo, if I can say this, uh, the blessings that are in the, uh, the Book of Deuteronomy. No, those uh, were there, or they, they are there, you know, and then you read it, it says that these blessings will be on you if you listen to what I tell you to do, you know? So that that that, that, that proves uh, the point you brothers are making, you know? The both sides want you to do what he told you to do, and then there's rewards for it, man. Yeah. It's not like you just do it, and then the most side's not going to do nothing for you, you know? If you listen to the Heavenly Father, he's going to end up putting you up on high, man. You know, you're going to be blessed, you know, like, like Job, man. Job was rich. You know, everything in his life was uh was going good, man. Yep. You know why? Because he was doing the things that please Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, so there's a, there's a reward for serving the Heavenly Father, man. He's not just doing it for nothing, you know. And then also, you serving him is beneficial to your uh, your body, man. You know, you following uh, the laws, statutes, and commandments. You know, you you eating the right things, putting the right things in your body. Yep. You know, you you not uh, committing wickedness, man, because the law. It's there, but it has uh, uh, physical consequences as well if you break those uh, laws, man. You know, you, you commit adultery, that does something to your body, man. You know, you're eating pork, eating shrimp, you know, you 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 working all the damn time, you know. Your body will break down, man, so the law is, is beneficial to you, you know. And the most high, he, he also rewards you for, for following after him, man, yep. you know. So it's, 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 it's double benefits. You get blessings from the Heavenly Father, and also it, it benefits your, your body, man. You know? Yeah. I, I got a quick precept. This, uh, this is Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your works and labor of love, which ye have shown towards him, which, which, like it, which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end, that ye be not slothful, but followers of, of them whom through faith and patience inherit the promise. For when the Most High made the promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely, surely, bless, blessings I will bless thee, and multiplying I will multiply thee. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For men verily, uh, for men, for men verily swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is to them an the end of all strife. So pretty much like it's the point was the most high is not unrighteous to forget our labors of love, which we do ministry, you know. But you gotta have patience, you gotta endure, you know, because you the most high, it ain't gonna be an easy road to receive the king. Okay. Scriptures say enter ye in at the straight gate. You know, so it's going to be a position of difficulty to get there. But if you're part of the elect, he's going to make a way for you to get through it. You know, you, you're going to be put through all types of obstacles. But if we be part of the elect, we're going to get through it. You know, that's why we got to call on the Lord and trust in the Lord, no matter what he puts through. You know, you can't get you can't get weak. It says. Uh, yep. Uh, that, yeah, that pretty much is the point on that. If you want to speak on some. Oh, oh, uh. Uh, we, we was going into uh, we still going into Isaiah 60? Yeah, yeah, back in Isaiah. Come, come. Come. This is uh, Isaiah 60 and 
For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and grows darkness the people. But the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And that's what happened to us. The Heavenly Father's light is risen upon us. His glory is seen upon us, meaning he gave us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. We have the understanding. We, The comforter has came and sat with us. The Rekar uh, Kodash, uh, 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 the Holy Spirit, through the Spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, Rekar Kodash, the Holy Spirit. And sup with us to understand this truth through our through, through the spirit and power of, 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 of Yahweh by Shema Shai, working through our elders and their elders to teach us this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and us understand who we are. You know, we ain't just regular niggas on the street. We, we're Israelites, Yahshua Allah, Prince of the Power. You know, we have we have we we not just put on the earth to do our own thing. We put on here to serve the fear of the Most High and keep His commandments. You know, and and doing that, there's there's actual blessings that come with that. You know, you see, God. It says, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. Because okay, when the Most High establishes us in power, we're going to put the whole, we're going to bring the whole earth to light. Ultimately, the earth is in darkness, but we're going to bring the whole earth to light. You know? and, and you got our nation that's scattered amongst all nations. Ultimately, the, 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 the glory of the Heavenly Father is going to be on the whole planet Earth. You know, Ultimately, his light is going to shine throughout the planet Earth. Through, through his, through, starting with his son, through his elect, you know. Matter of fact, it was a precept on that. Continue. Yeah, I got a precept. I got a precept too. Yeah, matter of fact, you can bring it out. Go ahead. I'm bringing it out. Okay, so yeah, just uh, Matthew 5 and 14. It says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Yeah. That's talking about us, the men of the Lord. We are the light of the world. A city. That's put on the hill cannot be here. If you see a big bright city shining on the hill, you can't hide that. You know, that light is shining. That's the light, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Heavenly Father's given us. That's why we brought out early in uh, Deuteronomy the fourth chapter that this our uh, this is our wisdom in the sight of the nations. This light, you know, and the nations can see it, 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 it right now. It's on the on the really it's on a high level, but right now they look at us like when brothers get together, we go out to eat or we might do something. They can see the light shining from within us. They see all oh, something different about y'all. Y'all ain't acting like these regular people out here in the world. You know, they can see that we're, we're, we're different from the world, you know? Yeah, we got a moral moral standard. Okay. These niggas out here, they do whatever the hell they want to, man. They act like brute beasts, you know? But us, we 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 follow after uh, Yahab Bashim Yahshua. We do things with wisdom, man, which is the reason why we ain't out here acting all wild, man. We have the spirit of Yahab Bashim Yahshua in us, you know? Yep. Continue. Oh, yeah, you got it out. Go ahead. Okay, it says, uh, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Okay. So we're not hiding our light. That's why the Lord said, go ye out to the highways and the byways, you know, show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. You ain't supposed to hide your light. Like, you got a lot of brothers, they, the Lord gives them the light, and they want to hide it. They want to hide their candle. They want to put it under, you know, they want to pretty much... Pretty much they're ashamed of the gospel. You can't be ashamed of this gospel. You gotta proclaim this to the world, you know. This this is this is this is what it is, you know. If you want to say something. Oh no, it's the same thing, uh like hiding the talent, man. Okay. The most I give this wisdom, you gotta utilize it, man. You gotta you gotta push the word out. You know? Like uh, what did uh Yahweh tell Peter? He asked him three times if he loved him, and Peter said, Of course I love you, you know, and the third time he got mad. He's getting angry. He's like, yeah, you know, I, well, you keep asking me the same thing, man. I, I, I gave you the answer already. But Yahweh I said, if you love me, feed my sheep. Yep. You know, so you you, you have to push forth the wisdom that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai gave you, man. Uh, matter of fact, real quick, i bring this out. <clears throat> yeah. This is a uh, Sirach. Chapter. Yeah, bear with me one moment. Uh, Sirach 20 and 30. It says, Wisdom that is hid and treasure that is hoarded up. What profit is in them both? You know, so what profit is it that you hide in your wisdom, man? What the Most High gave you wisdom to, to share, you know? So if you have the wisdom, the Most High requires you to go and, and publish it, man. Okay, sit down, do the videos. You know, you got to do the work, man. You have to feed. The lambs are Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. You know, it's how how is Jake gonna learn if if you're not uh, pushing that wisdom out, man? You know, you you, you want to hide it somewhere. You know, 
The Most High didn't give it to you to hide. He gave it to you for you to proclaim it, man. And then he give it to the, the, the rest of the nation. Okay. <clears throat> it says, wisdom that is hid and treasure that is hoarded up. What profit is in them both? Better is he that hideth his folly than a man that hideth his wisdom. Okay. So it's better for you to hide the foolish things that you do, man. You know, as opposed to you hiding your wisdom. You're supposed to proclaim that, man. All right. <clears throat> That's pretty much it. Yeah. I got one more verse. Uh, go ahead, I... Yeah, it says, let your light so shine before men that they may see yep. your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. That's right. Yes, yeah, so they see what you're doing. You know, they, they don't think to themselves or they might even ask you, you know, well, 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 why do you do this? You know, why why you conduct yourself like that? You know, you might tell them, you know, I'm a servant of the heavenly father. I follow the scriptures, man. You know, I'm an Israelite, you know, now follow after uh, the heavenly father. You know, these, these certain guidelines that I have to uh, adhere to, you know, and he gets glorified. You know, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah gets glorified, man. <clears throat> That's it on that, right? Now, get, come, bring that come. to you on that. Come. It says, uh, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Come. If I want to wanted say real quick, like we keep saying about the light, you know, pretty much statues the commandments of Yahweh, Hashim, Yahweh Shah, you know. And ultimately, again, that, that's that's immortality, mm -hmm. you know. And that's why I got a quick scripture for that. This is uh, Sirach 19 and 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is doctrine of life, and they that do these things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and all wisdom is the perfection performance of the law and the knowledge of his uh, omnipotence, right? So, again, that's why that's why there's you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua chose Israelites. To have the law and for us to be able to shine it forth onto the Gentiles, onto everybody else. Yeah. You know, it's not a Esau, it's not the Moabites, it's not the Elamites, it's, you know, it's the Israelites yeah. who, who are up there who are pretty much going to be shining their light forth, you know, and now and in the kingdom. Yeah, we, we pretty much, we're going to set the order for how things are to be on the earth. This is how you're supposed to be and this is how you're not supposed to be. Okay. I got I got a priest of this um, Malachi 4 and 2. And many nations shall come and say, Come and let us go up to the oh, Micah. Yeah, Salaki. Yeah, Micah Salaki. Micah started one. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Micah four and one. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountains of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains. Which means the government of, of the Heavenly Father, the government of Yahbashim Yahshai, which consists of the kingdom of Israel, is gonna be exalted above all these other kingdoms, man. We're gonna be the top nation on the earth. All right. There ain't going to be multiple kingdoms like you have in this day, man. You know, you got the Chinese, they rule, and they got a, a certain position of power. You know, they they, they pretty much rivaling Esau. It ain't going to be like that in the kingdom, man. We ain't going ain't gonna to be no no kingdom that's going to be anywhere near the level that we're going to be on, man. We're going to be the richest. We're going to be the most profitable. Yep. Okay? We're going to have slaves. Yep. All right? And our, our, our city is going to be uh, the most decked out, man. Anywhere you go. That uh, Israelite is dwelling in anything that Israelite establishes is going to be top notch, man. And no, nothing that you even are going to have is going to be comparable to that, man. Yep. And you ain't never going to reach that level, all right? Yeah, we gonna we gonna own the universe. We That's gonna right. actually have. We gonna actually be able to live on other planets. Who? What other nation can they say they actually had the uh, the, uh, the ability to do that? You know, God. we gonna actually know what it feels like. Like you got that movie Star Wars. They be traveling to different galaxies. Mm -hmm. We gonna do that. Yep. You know? yep. <laughs> Yeah, hyper drive yeah, shit, warp, just... warp drive and shit. Well, we're going to do that, you know? You're going to have your, <laughs> might have your own star system, man. Okay. Yeah. You know? And you, you, you other nations, you ain't going to have that, man. You're going you gonna to be serving us yep. on one of them planets, yeah. all right? We might take you to another planet just for mining, you know, get some gold out, you know? You know? Hey, who knows what's out there, man? You know, some some other material yeah, some, might some, be some, some, hey, the Lord got a stone we ain't never seen before. It's just... Yeah. I was gonna say I ain't gonna say that, yeah, but you know niggas, yeah, yeah, niggas be here, scoffing man. and shit. Yeah. Nah, nah, but they be watching the movies. And oh shit, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all already know. Black Panther and shit. Know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we gonna have that shit though, all right? All right. Yeah, whatever it is, man, we gonna have these heathens mining that vibranium. <laughs> yeah, good, good. we gonna have that shit, all right? <laughs> it says, it says, but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the tops of the mountains. Yep. And it shall be exalted above the hills. Yeah, the hills represents the lower governments, the lower uh, governments of you heathens, man. So we're going to be above everybody on earth. Get uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6 real quick. Huh. 
It says, and the people shall flow unto it. Yeah, the people shall flow unto it. Okay, keep going. And many nations shall come and say, come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and, and to the house of the Most High and of Jacob. Okay, you got that? Okay. Uh, bring it real it's quick. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. <clears throat> For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. Yep. The Lord thy power had chosen thee to be a special people upon himself. Unto himself. Yeah, and what's special about us? The Most High gave us the laws, statutes, and commandments. He revealed himself unto us, unto the nation of Israel, unto our forefathers, man. And in turn, we're going to reveal Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to the rest of these nations, man. Okay? The way these nations are going to get to the Heavenly Father, they're going to have to go through us. All right, keep going. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, mm -hmm. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. So we're above all people on the face of the earth. Right now we're in slavery, but we're reading about the kingdom, man, where the most high is going to make good on that promise. All right. So you, you can jump back to that. It says, uh, and many nations shall come and say, come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord mm -hmm. and to the house of the most high of Jacob. Yep. And he will teach us his ways. That's right. He will teach us of his ways. So these nations are going to learn the law, statutes, and commandments through us, man. They're going to learn from us. We're going to show them how, how they're supposed to live down here on earth like the brother was going into earlier, man. We're going to show you fucking gooks that you ain't supposed to be eating rats and dogs. Yeah. Okay? We're going to show you you damn coolies that you ain't supposed to be worshiping everything you see. Okay? All them guys that you guys are going to be destroyed, we're going to show you that you ain't supposed to worship your house by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. All right? You ain't supposed to be eating pork. You ain't supposed to be committing adultery. All right? You're supposed to uh, uh, practice the last Sabbath. Okay, you got to keep the feast of the Lord. Yep. All right, ain't ain't none of this 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 madness that you got going on is gonna fly no more, man. You damn Arabs, you ain't gonna keep Ramadan, man. We gonna we gonna push the Day of Atonement on your ass, man. Yep. Or you do a a, a a straight dry fast for twenty four hours, man. Yep. Okay. And that's why I tell you, Revelations uh, two and twenty six, you know, we shall rule them with a rod of iron, as a vessel of a potter, shall they be broken to shivers. Mm -hmm. They because they ain't gonna want to give up their customs they've been accustomed to for thousands, thousands of years. Yep. They've been this has been instilled in them to do this. Mm -hmm. oh, who the hell are you? I, I can't do this. Is my this is my heritage. Yep. So we are gonna have to beat that shit out of them. That's where that rod comes yeah, in, man. just like they beat it out of us. Our our, our customs, you know. <laughs> beat us. You ain't a perfect example. The movie uh, what it was a show. The show Roots. When they was beating the shit out of Kunta, I forget his name, the actor, LeVar, uh, LeVar, uh, LeVar uh, Vert or some shit. Yeah. They beat the shit out that nigga in the, in, the, in the show. Your name is Toby, boy. He said, my name is Kunta. They kept beating his ass until finally he submitted and said, my name is uh, to, uh, Toby. That That's how they did it in real life to, to us. They beat beat our heritage and our nationality out of us. So we're going to beat this. We're going to beat that heathenistic shit out of you heathens, you know? We're going to beat it into your ass. You, Your name is Esau. Uh, uh, your, your name is uh, uh, Moab, you know? Yep. And it's going to be a perpetual thing, man, because the heathen, they ain't never going to get it right. They ain't gonna, never going to be 100%. They're always going to be going off, man. Yep. So then they're going to slip up, eat pork, you're going to have to judge them, man. Yep. They're they, going to commit adultery, you're going to have to judge them. Because they're not going to have the bodies that we're going to have. We're going to have them extraterrestrial bodies, and the Heavenly Father is going to put give us the heart of flesh, meaning we're never going to sin. He's going to program us to be righteous. Yep. So we're never going to go off. We're going to be perfect. But they're still going to be in a regular terrestrial body, so they're going to constantly go off, you know. Try to keep, try, they're going to try to get it right. They just can't seem to get it right, you know. Yep. And like you brought up about Esau, we're going to have to set up uh, programs. Yep, yep. The gang, the gang, the gang. studies of why, why, yeah. why, why he ain't getting it right. Why the nigga can't stop eating pork? Yeah, yeah. Why he keeps committing adultery? Why he can't just? Why he can't? Why can't he follow the laws, man? <laughs> they can't get it right, man. <laughs> It is back in uh, Ma uh, Micah 4 and 2. And many nations shall come and say, come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and, and to the house of the Most High Jacob. Mm -hmm. And he will teach us his ways and we will walk in his paths for the law shall go forth of Zion. That's right. The law is going to go forth out of Zion, which is uh, the, the land of Israel. Okay. Keep going. Because that's going to be the, 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 the center of the, of the world, man. Jerusalem. Okay. Keep going. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and he showed. Yeah, that's where the law is gonna go out, man. It ain't going like like today. You know, the law comes and goes out from the UN and then uh, uh, from here in America. And that day, the law is gonna go forth out of the land of Israel, man. Okay, and it's this these these laws are gonna be what's gonna be established throughout the four corners of the earth, man. We ain't gonna be on this UCC uh, code no more, man. 
We ain't going to be under the United States Penal Code, okay, or international law. We're going to be under the law of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. Okay. okay. Keep going. And he shall judge among many people. Yes, we're going to judge these nations, man. All right. We're we going we gonna to show them what they're supposed to be doing, uh, uh, what, what they're supposed to be doing, man. Okay. We're going to show them what they're supposed to be doing, what they're not supposed to be doing. Okay. We're going to have to teach them, man. Keep going. And, and that's, that's where that rod of iron comes in, like the brother uh, brought up earlier. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna be with it. The scriptures even tell you in uh, Zechariah the fourteenth chapter that uh, some of these nations ain't gonna come up to worship uh, the heavenly Father at the feast, man. Yeah. So the Most High is gonna uh, deprive them of rain. Yes. Okay. Then they're gonna be getting jacked up, and then they're gonna finally come up. You know. And then you know that the generations, they, there's another uh, group is gonna come on the scene. They're gonna forget. Are they going to be like to hell with the Heavenly Father? We ain't going up to have that fear. The same thing going to happen, man. And, and you know, it just came to my mind when you said that. Remember um, the book of Judges on how one generation would serve the Lord, yep, yep. but then they failed to teach the next generation, so they was going off. That's what led us in the, uh, in the, in the going into captivity. It's going to be the same thing with your nation. One nation going to yep, get it yep. right and fail to teach the next generation. They're going to be going off. Yep. And we're going to have to fuck their ass up. You yep. know? Then, then they're going to get it right. It's going to be, you know... That's the, day the most I got the story written out perfect. Yeah, same thing with uh, what happened in Egypt. Yep, you yep. know, that Pharaoh came on the scene. He, he didn't remember Joseph. Gun. So he, he put us in slavery, man. So that, that mentality is going, not not that we're going to go into slavery. That mentality of the uh, these heathen not wanting to serve us is going to come, come back on the scene, man. You know, it might be there for a few generations, and then it's going gonna, it's gonna to leave them. We're going to have to jack their ass up, man, and put, put them in order. God, you know, even that new pharaoh, I'm sure he had records, but he still said, man, fuck that shit anyways. <laughs> fuck the Israelites. He is back in Ma uh, Micah 4 and 3. And he shall judge among many people mm -hmm. and rebuke strong nations afar off. Yep. And they <clears throat> shall beat their swords at the plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Mm -hmm. Nations shall not lift up a sword against nation. Mm -hmm. Neither shall they learn war anymore. That's in the kingdom, man. Okay, why? Well, there ain't gonna be no need for you to fight. You ain't you ain't gonna be the top nation on the earth, man. What you got to fight for? Okay, you damn sure ain't gonna be able to take the nation of Israel out. Yep. All right. You you try to come up against us, you're gonna get decimated, man. You, you send your little five year old son to take down the heathen, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yo, your, your, your newborn son <laughs> straight out the womb. We are gonna have spiritual power out the womb. He just he just uh, he just he straight up born the same first day. He fucking up yeah, nation. He's you know? flying already. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, like they show you, like they show you in them uh, Salaki, like they show you in them uh, in the movies and stuff. The you you got you got uh, certain families have spiritual power, and then the baby's baby's the most powerful one because it can't control itself. So it, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know you you got you got the dad, he's he's destroying shit. You know he's targeting shit. You got the baby gets mad and just kills every goddamn thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're we going to be hey, the most high from the elevator us on the level beyond our understanding. That's why the scriptures say eyes have not seen, ears have not heard with the most high prepared for them that love them. We can't even fathom. I mean, we watch it was shit, we watch shit like Dragon Ball Z. We get pump, uh, pumped up Dragon Ball Super. We get pumped up because we know we're going to be on that level. <laughs> I mean, we get we, cause we like it because we Israelite. Because I noticed that I've been watching a lot of reviews on that show. With all of reviews are from Jake's. That show is heavily watched by Jake because yep. Jake gravitates to it because we know we, we supposed to have that type of power, you know? But we can't really fathom how it's, how is it gonna feel to be on the planet Earth with that level of energy, being able to fly, being able to have control over the elements. But we gonna know, you know, we gonna know. Yeah, Howard Shaw had it um, when he's on the Earth two thousand years ago. But he he was he had it on the level to where he was uh, performing miracles, healing people. We gonna have it on the level to where the Most High turns it into hunters, yep. you know, to where we able to have full access to unlimited energy, you know. We gonna we gonna know it though. It says, but they shall sit every man under the vine and under the fig tree, and none shall make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of hosts have spo uh, spoken it. For all people walk, all people will walk everyone in the name of his God. God was just talking about uh, the different Israelite rulers that's going to be set up over you, even in, in whichever province. Okay, you're going to be following after that, that, that leader, man, that Israelite leader that's going to be set up over you. All right. Because the scriptures tell you that uh, all these idols are going to be destroyed. So that's not talking about these, uh, the nation's gods, you know. Well, get uh, Psalms 82 and 6 real quick. Okay. 
Because we are we we're gods, are we not? Yeah. You know, which God means a, a judge or a, a ruler. You know, and we're the judges of the earth. All right. Yeah, this Psalms eighty two and six. I have said, ye are gods, mm -hmm. and all of you are the children of the Most High. That's right. So that's what that's talking about in Micah. Okay, they're gonna be falling after us. Okay, you're gonna have certain provinces set up, and you have Israelites over that that province, man. Okay, just like all these other empires that came on earth. Well, even uh, the Roman Empire, the one that was over uh, the province of Judea was Pontius Pilate. He was the one that was basically uh, setting forth the law. He was the the, the ultimate judge, man. You know, which is the reason why he took your house shot to him to pass that judgment. Because if he didn't say it, then it wouldn't have went down, man. If he didn't say, okay, crucify him, you can, uh, you can crucify him, then he wouldn't have got crucified, you know? Yeah. So we're going we gonna to be set up over these nations in, in, in the different uh, lands, man. Yep. Judgment. Okay. Keep going. For all people will walk everyone in his name of his God, mm -hmm. and we will walk in the name of of the Lord, our power. That's right. So the heathen, they're going to follow us, and we're going to be following Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's the order, man. You got Yahweh, you got Yahweh Shai, you got the Israelites, and you got the rest of the nations, man. And these nations, they're going to have to follow us. Okay? So Mosai set us forth as the example of how you're supposed to live down here on the earth, man. That's the reason why one of the names he gave us is Zion, which Zion means a monument or, or, or a memorial, man. Okay? So the most side set us down here to remind you nations, first and foremost, that he exists, and this is how you're supposed to live, man. Okay? And if you don't follow after this uh, example, you, you're going to get jacked up. All right? By those same people. All right? <laughs> Keep going. It says, and I will gather her. It's like, let me go back up. It says, and we will walk in the name of, our, of the Lord, our power, forever and ever. In that day, said the Lord, will I assemble her that have uh, assemble her that uh, halted, and I will gather her that is driven out of out of her that I have afflicted. Mm -hmm, yeah, because the Most High kicked us out of the land of Israel, so He's gonna gather us and put us back in the land. Keep going. And I will make her that halted a remnant, and her that was cast far off a strong nation. That's right. And the Lord shall reign over them in Mount Zion from henceforth ever forever. That's right. Why? Because the Most High is going to give us those new bodies. So he's not going to have a need to cast us off anymore, man. We're going to be perfect. Okay? So we're always going to be in uh, rulership. And that scripture we read earlier, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, is going to be perpetually in play, man. Okay? The Most High is going to set us up above all these other nations, man. There's no way that you're going to be able to get over the nation of Israel. Okay, pursuing to uh, what that, that Ammonite said to Judas, because we're never going to go off, man. Yep. Okay. Matter of fact, if we if we ain't going off, those curses are going to be on you nations, man, yep. perpetually. All right? So you're going to be low, man. All them curses that's in the, in the, in the scriptures in Deuteronomy 28 is going to be upon you, man. Yep. You're going to have diseases, okay? Your, 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 your wife is going to be uh, mad at you. Yep. Well, you Edomites, your, your woman's already mad at you. She already trying to leave your ass, man. All right? Yeah, it's going to be, hey, I thought about it even like this. I thought about Isaiah, the third, uh, what's the third chapter. I'd be thought, most I might take the Edomite hair away. A woman, she might be bald yeah, headed. Yeah. <laughs> she might be fucking bald headed and shit. Hey, well, that's a curse. Yeah. All the curses, that's it. That's in the book. You know? Yeah. That just don't uh, apply to uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. All the curses that's in there is going to come upon the so called white man. Good. This woman gonna be over him, you know. She's gonna be cursing him out, talking shit. Just like you see uh what's going on with so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. And this woman gonna wanna get with Jake. Yep. And she well, she already she, wants to. Yeah, she know? already. <laughs> but let's go, hey, what's that? She's gonna be talking shit to you, she's gonna be mad at you yep. for no reason, you know. And then when Jake come around, she's gonna be smiling, treating treating Jake all nice. You know, the same thing the, the nigga woman does, man. Yeah. I got, uh, well, just back up the point, what you said, you know, what is it? All brothers know the scripture, but you can't bring it out enough. It's Deuteronomy 28, 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the force of the Lord thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command you this day. Like you said, we're going to be made perfect. So we're going to do everything. Yep. This is what's going, this is what the Lord is going to do to us. That the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come 
come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. That's right. You can read down, it goes into the uh, the blessings, man. One of the blessings is that we're going to lend unto you nations, man. If you want money, just like you, you want money in this society, you got to work for Esau. You got to go to the damn bank to get a loan, to get a credit card. If you want credit or a loan, you got to go see an Israelite, man. Yep. Ain't gonna, you, you heathens ain't going to be set up on no level to run the monetary system, man. We're going to be running the monetary system, all right? And if you want a, a loan to build a house or, you know, do whatever, you're going to have to go see Israel, man. Yep. Okay? And we're we, we going to put all type of usury on your ass, man. Okay? You're going to get a thousand percent interest rate. So you never getting out of debt, man. Yep. <laughs> All right. You're going to be a perpetual slave, man. That's what, this is what you nations have to look forward to, and they're going to love it. Yep. Pursuing the uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. They're going to love it, man. You brought that out early. That's, that's the spirit. Yep. They're going to love it, man. They're going to love getting oppressed by a righteous nation, man. <laughs> yep. Uh, if I had another precept, uh, we can jump back to that. Come on. Yeah. Well, brothers want to wrap it up. We've been going for a minute. Yeah, yeah, kind, kind. And this uh, Isaiah 2, I'll just start at the top. Isaiah 2 and 1, the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord, Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains uh -huh. and shall be exalted above the hills. And all the nations shall flow unto it. And many people... Yeah, uh, I forget the scripture. I, I forget where it's at. But it says, uh, whereas thou has been uh, forsaken, the most High is going to turn us into uh, basically a joy. You know, I know nation wants to come to us. Just like now, you know, none of these nations want to go to uh, the projects, man. Go where so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans live, man. It's because it's a high crime rate. You know, you, you, you might get put to death going there. But in the kingdom, it's going to be the complete opposite, man. Everybody's going to want to come to the land of Israel, you know. Why? Is this going to be the best place on earth, man? Yeah. All right. The city's going to be paved with gold. The street's going to be paved with gold. The wall's going to be decked out like you read in uh, Revelation. Ain't, and ain't no other city going to be on that level, man. No other place on earth is going to be on that level. So everybody's going to want to go there, man. Yeah. Keep going. It says... It says that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains mm -hmm. and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. Yep. And many people shall go and say, come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the Most High of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways mm -hmm. and we will walk in his paths. That's right. From out of Zion shall go forth the law. And the, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Yeah, so that's where these nations going to go uh, to learn that, man. They're going to have to go to Israel to learn the laws of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Man, this, 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 this is the top knowledge that's going to be on the earth, man. Like you got all these uh, exchange students. They want to come to America to get an education. All these nations are going to want to go to Jerusalem, to Israel, to learn the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, man. All right. Keep going. It says... And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares mm -hmm. and their spears into pruning hooks. Yep. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord. Therefore thou hast forsaken thy people, the house of Jacob, because they be replenished from the east and are soothsayers like the Philistines, mm -hmm. and they please themselves in the uh, in the children of strangers. It says their land is full of yeah, I pretty much, I just wanted to hit yeah, the, yeah, point, that was the point. Hit the point. Um, spirit, if you want to get back to Isaiah. This is um, back in Isaiah 60 and 4. Lift up thy eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy son shall come from afar, and thy daughter shall come north at thy side, then thou shalt see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be covered unto thee. Yeah, converted unto thee. So we going we gonna get all the nations' uh, riches. They gonna convert all the abundance of the sea. Is talking about all their riches that they have. You know, they gonna because the scriptures. If you keep continue reading on in the chapter, it says our gates are gonna be open continually. 
So every everything that these nations, all their riches, all their gold, their secret vaults, they have all these precious stones, yep. which belong to us anyway. Because we the ones who created it anyway. They're going to give it right back. You know? Our gates are going to constantly be open. We ain't going to have, because remember back in the ancient world, used to have the uh, the, the watchmen that watch over the gates. It's going to be just open. Need, <laughs> need, Our gates are just going to be <laughs> wide open. I might be dead asleep. <laughs> we ain't going to even need to sleep. But if I want to, I'm going to sleep. In the middle of the night, oh, some heathen coming. Oh, I'll let the motherfuckers come. I'm good. I'm good. Drop off the gold, the silver, you know. Continue. Come. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee. The dromedaries of Midian and Epa, all they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. Yeah, they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. They're going to be praising the Lord for bringing us all this stuff. They're going to be giving us their gold, their frankincense, and their myrrh. You know, certain brothers like to, to get into the tree saps and different things. You know, the, the incense, the finest of the finest incense, the oils, the different scents, the fragrances, the central oils, the, central oils, the top fabrics. You better believe the elites got all access to all this. Yeah, that's actual wealth, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you to have the, the the top of everything, man. You know, those essential oils. That that shit is expensive, man. It's yeah, not yeah, cheap. Yeah, that shit ain't cheap. You know, and it smells way better than that 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 uh fake fragrance oil, man. Yeah. You can smell the difference. You know, it's bad for you. You can't really, you're not really supposed to put it on your skin. The smell is all off. You want the real shit, man. Yeah, you want the you real know, deal. the real deal that takes time and effort to make, man. You know, you actually got to pick the flowers. You got to pick the plant. You know, you got to uh, distill it. They're going to be bringing that to us, man. Yep. Ointments, you know, the, uh, the precious stones like the brother was going into, the frankincense and the myrrh, you know, different spices, exotic spices, you know. Yep. See you. Come. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of uh, Nebaioth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with uh, acceptance on the mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as a cloud and as the doves to their widows? Surely the isles shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarnish first to bring thy, thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them. Mm. Unto the name of the Lord thy power until the Holy One of Israel, because he had glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. Yeah, these heathen, they're going to build up our walls, and the king shall minister unto us. So all your top kings of the earth that's ruling over us, they're going to be serving us. You know, you Rothschilds, you Rockefellers, all you, you, you top Edomite nations, you're going to build up our kingdom, you know? Which I don't know how that's going to even be possible. They even work the day in their life. Yeah. Old as they is, we're going to beat, you know, have to beat it into your ass. You're going to work, though. You, you, you heathen nations, uh, Kim Jong-un, that big fat mother, if he's still alive, you're going to be working too. If you're somewhere alive on the earth, you're going to put your fat ass in slave, you're going to lose some weight, you know? Uh, uh, Putin, if Putin is still alive in that day, we're going to put chains on him and he's going to be working, you know? Say, uh, so by night, kings with chains. chains. The king, yeah, the king yeah. of Russia right now. Yeah, yeah. You know? That nigga going straight to slavery, yeah, yeah. None of that Taekwondo, that jujitsu, he knows is going to save his ass, man. Yeah. All right? <laughs> David D. Rockefeller, you know, they call him the plastic Jesus. You going into slavery, you know? Continue. Right. For my yeah, rat, I uh, think about the pictures you be making with yeah. that nigga. <laughs> yeah, that nigga be bugging out at nighttime, yeah. dreaming and shit. Uh, I might animate one of them motherfuckers. You might see it in real life. <laughs> Go ahead, huh? For in my wrath, I smote thee, but in my favor have I have mercy on thee. Mm -hmm. yeah. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. Our yeah. gates are going to be open continually, so from... Every 24 hours a day, with 24 or 6 on the Sabbath, ain't nobody going, everybody going to be resting because we're going to keep the laws. Ain't gonna, people are going to be resting on the Sabbath, but for 24 or 6, we're pretty much, the gates are just going to be constantly open. People bringing us their riches, bringing us this, bringing us that, bringing us the top exotic uh, this, the top exotic that, the top fabrics. Yep. They're going to be making garments for us. Make, we're going to be, just, we're going to receive so much, we're like, damn, we're going to be boatload crates of this shit coming in, you yes, know? Sir. So we're gonna be trying on new garments, you know. I like this one. I'll take I take a hundred million in them, all right. You yeah, know, the silk uh that comes from uh, uh silkworms. The, yeah, yeah, the thread that they not the thread, uh basically like the same thing that spiders uh spin, they web, they yeah. web it. It's it comes from them, you know. Yeah. So it's, that's that's expensive. You know how many silkworms you gotta have to make uh a spindle of silk? Yeah, that's that's expensive. That's expensive, man. Because we, we 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 gonna have garments like that though, yeah. man. The top the top notch fabrics. We're going to have that, you know, the yeah. finest linen, you know. Yep. Yeah. a matter of fact, when I was in elementary school years back, I think 
was in like first grade, my elementary teacher, she was an Edomite bitch, but she uh she used to uh actually uh have a cage in a class full of silkworms. You actually we actually got to see the worms grow up. They're actually like big white worms, and they actually are worms that spin silk. You actually could see the silk coming out. But they got they actually have to do something to the silk to make it um like fabric, but you can see that's it's that's a process because yep. one little tiny worm can't produce a whole garment. You gotta have a, a whole bunch of them worms like to actually get get the fabric, you know. Yep. So we gonna actually have it, it, man, the kingdom is gonna be glorious, you know. And that show you that there's order. That's the reason why the Most High has these different uh, like we was getting into the ecosystem earlier. Why the Most High has these different creatures on the earth because they're 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 here to serve their purpose. The silk worms are here to what to produce the silk so we can have silk fabric, you know. Yep. There's different oil. That's why the white man got to go down for that. He's chilling off the ecosystem. Yeah. You know? Fucking everything. Fucking everything. Up. Yeah, continue. Come. Um, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and the king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I have mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. Oh, and, yeah, and even on the uh, Shabbat, the gates going to be open. Yeah, come, come. Yeah. We ain't going to be doing nothing. It's going to be rest, but... You heathen, you ain't gonna do nothing, man. The gate's gonna stay open because yeah. we we gonna be the top nation on the earth. Okay, if you want to try to do something on Saturday, we put you to death, man. We strangle you with our mind, man. Yeah. You might be sleep. You might be just in deep meditation. You can sense the heathen coming in your dream. Yeah. Slay that motherfucker. Ain't even open your eyes. Still, still sleep. You know, if you want to. Oh, we gonna be on such a high level. You might not even want to sleep. You might want to stay up for twenty years. This, 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 you know, I slept enough in these other kingdoms. I'm gonna just stay up and just, and just explore the universe. Yep. You can do that. You can do that. You can do that. Everlasting yeah. joy. The Lord said He's gonna give us everlasting joy. You know. Continue. They shall, they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that the kings may be brought for yep. the nation. Yeah, the kings. See, why are the kings gonna be brought, man? You for slavery. Yep. They have slaves, man. We need slaves. I need slaves. Yeah, we all need slaves. Right. I'm, tired of, I'm tired of fucking work. I'm tired of busting my ass for you heathens, you know? But the most high is a righteous power. He said, uh, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. The Heavenly Father gave all you nations a chance to rule. That show you that the most high is a just power. It's fair. He didn't just create us and just, uh, and just have y'all just get fucked up from the jump, even though he could do it if he wanted to. He gave every nation on the planet Earth a time to rule, you know? But hey, now is our time. Continue. Come. Um, and that their kings will be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Uh -huh. Yeah, so if you don't want to serve us, I ain't serve them Israelites. Fuck them Israelites. You're going to have, you're gonna, you might have certain groups springing out in the kingdom saying that shit. Yep. I mean, but we're going to be on such a high level, we're going to make them do it. Cause what's that scripture we said we see we, we gonna have charge over the angels so we're gonna act I, I believe so we're gonna actually have command because we're gonna be on the level like um, like the most high man has become like one of us knowing good and evil so we're gonna be able to command the evil spirits to jump on them to make them go off so we can judge them that's what the most high does the most high is in the heavens he makes you go off and he judges you for making you go off what's that Romans the ninth chapter Yep. So he yep. made he made one vessel one to honor and one vessel one to dishonor. So the most high is what's man's goings of the Lord. How can a man that understand his own way? He makes you go off so he can judge you. Oh, that's fucked up. Well, that's the most high. He can do what he want to do. You know? Well, he's gonna make us like that on the earth. Us being uh, his sons. We're gonna make you go off and, and put an evil thought, Esau mind, to come against us just so we can fuck him up. You know, I don't like this motherfucker. Look, I want him to come against me today. He be he been trying his hardest to stay on the right path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something in his mind. Fuck that motherfucker, man. Fuck that nigga. A ah, nigga, a nigga flying. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Gonna bash your head in, you know? You got it. God. For the nation kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Yeah, you're gonna be perishing, you're gonna be utterly wasted. But ultimately Esau, because yeah. Esau will never be able to follow the statutes and commandments. I mean, none nations will. But he's ultimately going to be destroyed for that. All yeah. well, these other nations that, you know, like uh, Elon, they going to get it to some extent, you know. It's even, uh, you know, he was out there. I don't know if he was there. He might have been on the outside, but that Elamite that came up there one time. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember He was that. like, yeah. I want to serve your God. I want to, I want to follow your God. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired of my... He, he's I'm telling tired, yeah. his mom was putting his head under the cow, the cow and shit, yeah, yeah, having, yeah, having his shit on his head before it, letting the cow kiss on him and anointing him. Yeah. He, he, he's, he's saying to hell with that guy, man. I want to follow your God, man. Yeah, like, man this you know? 
You, you knew that shit wasn't right. You probably was a little kid. I want this shit on me, man. What the fuck this shit, man? <laughs> Trying to serve y'all power. That's how it's going to be. Yeah, these other nations, they ain't going to get it to some extent. Even even now, some of these nations have, uh, you know, some some righteous uh, 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 customs about them, you know? Everything they do ain't, ain't wicked, you know? But they do a lot of shit that goes off. You saw this nigga, the, the kingdom to him is going to be pure hell, man. Because he, he doesn't want to follow any of the laws that he said. Well, he's, it's impossible yeah. for him to do so, man. Don't that. tell a nigga to grow his beard, nigga. He's going to be mad, you know? He's going to be trying to shave. He's going to have to... Go upside his head, man. You know. Well, matter of fact, we brought that out earlier. Habakkuk, the spirit is not upright in him. So mm-hmm. he he even though he would want to do right, he can't because the spirit was created to be wicked. So yeah. our kingdom is based upon righteousness. No matter how hard he try, he's just gonna constantly can't get it. Can't get it right. Get it, man. They're gonna be trying yeah. to line his beard up. You gonna look, 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 what the fuck you doing, man? Yeah. You ain't supposed to shave it off. You know, you're gonna be mad. You had to jack his ass up. You know, the nigga gonna have a problem keeping the land Sabbath. He's gonna be mad doing that. You know? He's gonna be mad following the feast days. Yeah, well, he's gonna hate the feast days. <laughs> you day. know? On the, on the Pasak during the feast of unleavened bread, nigga gonna have bread, man. Yeah, gonna you gotta put the nigga to death, man. <laughs> he's gonna, he gonna sneak bread. And he's like, where, where the fuck does bread come from, man? <laughs> Chop his head off, man. <laughs> you know, he ain't he ain't gonna get it's gonna be pure hell upon him, man. Yeah. Oh, and you're gonna have to deal with your woman in the kingdom. Okay, that right there is pure hell for Esau, man. All right, he don't want to deal with no woman. He want to deal with a man. He deal with little boys. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna be hell. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pop my wife. That's why. I, I, no, I, I heard, I heard the apostle say one time, we're gonna have to set up breeding farms for these devils. You know, we're gonna have to, just like they did for us. Yep. We're gonna actually have to make them motherfuckers breed. You know. Okay, Esau, you gonna this is your wife. You deal with her. You know. We gonna have to monitor that shit because you know them crackers. They like to get into orgies and all types yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna man. have to make sure you dust your wife and you ain't dealing passing her to nobody else. Yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah. You know? Don't you, man? He, he gonna be mad. Yeah. You know, he gonna be he gonna be. It's gonna be pure hell for him, man. <laughs> that cuck spirit gonna come on. You gonna have to put him to death. Yeah. <laughs> man, that was that was gonna catch hell, man. That was it. That was it. Man. That was it. I mean, I mean, you know, man, the whole it? chapter yeah. is beautiful. God, God. We'll be here all day. Matter of fact, God. just jump straight to the last verse. That, that's a beautiful verse in itself. God. Matter of fact, uh, 21. Start at uh, 21. Um, I, Isaiah 16, 21. Thy people also shall be all righteous. Yep, so with every nation, every uh, from the least Israelite to the greatest Israelite, we're all going to be righteous. All these two-third niggas you see on the corner bugged out, eventually the Lord will have mercy. They're going to come back righteous with the Heavenly Father's law, statutes, and commandments. In their inward parts, because they're going to be born through the seed of the elect, which them being born is because uh, you know your child, your children inherit what you what you have, you know. Yep. So they're going to inherit the blessings that we receive through the elect. Mm-hmm. So it's, it, 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 everything is perfect through, through, through the will of the Most High, you know. He's going to get rid of them on this side, but they're eventually going to come back and be righteous. Yep. You no. Know? Thank Thy people also shall be all righteous; they shall inherit the land forever. Yep, we're going to inherit the land forever. Ain't gonna be no we rule for a certain time like Esau. You mean like he didn't leave for the captivity? So you that means you're gonna leave me in the captivity. Then I'm gonna have to lead you in the no, it ain't gonna work like that. We're gonna rule forever. That's why we're gonna get rid of you after a thousand years. You know? That's right. You see? The, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. Yep. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. This is one of my favorite scriptures. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. Meaning the littlest Israelite is it's like that one man is bringing back a whole, a, a whole nation. It says a little one shall become a thousand. So you might have a thousand children, and out of that thousand children, it's like your whole line is a whole nation. Oh, that, oh that's the brother Quanawaf's line. It'd be a whole millions of million upon millions of, of Israelites. Oh, that's the brother Sour Pars line. It's millions upon millions of Israel. Damn, yep. that's like a whole nation. That's how we, that's, and the Lord said Israel is as the sand of the sea. That's why we got other planets because all Israel can't fit on the uh, on the planet Earth. This is going to be the headquarters. Oh, ultimately, this is going to be like your Howard Shai's uh, planet. No, this is where it all started. But we're going to have other planets in heaven. You might have to go visit your great, 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 great grandson on a, on a different uh, galaxy. I gotta hop in my chair and go visit him. You know, they having the high holy day. I wanna go see what they're doing. You know, let me see what my great, 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 uh, 20, 20, 20 greats later doing in this solar system. Yeah. We literally, I mean, you know, we literally gonna be doing that. You know, that's what the scriptures say. Continue. God. And if I may say this, I mean, don't act like it hasn't happened before with Abraham, you know? Yeah. yeah. Just look, look at well, the nation he brought forth, you know? 
Since, Yo, uh, he, he's the father of uh, many nations. You yep, know, he, yep. had, he had eight sons. You know, uh, I believe he had Midian too, right? If I'm not mistaken. I believe you so. You know, Midian came out of him. Ishmael. Ishmael's a, a huge nation, you know. So this is giving you a, a, an example of how, how we're going to be in the kingdom. You know, our children are going to become numerous, man, innumerable. Well, your family going to be innumerable, yep. you know. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. I, I the Lord, will hasten it in his time, and he's going to make it, bring it forth. The Lord is going to make it happen. So the two-thirds, I always say this, they're going to come back right quick in the kingdom. They ain't going to be, okay, they come back a thousand years later in the kingdom. is They're going to be back quick. Yep. It's just that we going to make it on the first Lord's will. We be part of the elect. The Lord's will, we make it on the first go-round, you know. We're going to actually see the downfall of our enemies. But they going to come back quick. Because we're going we to have a lot of women that get delivered out of here as far as our, our wives. Yep. So cause we got to get down in the kingdom. We got to have a lot of, uh, we got to have, I'm going to just bring it straight up. We're going to have a lot of sex in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, how do you think the babies going to come back? How do you think the, the two-thirds going to come back? Yeah, we're going to be doing, having a lot of sex with our women. And they're going to be getting pregnant on the, on the daily, you know. You might get, you got, you might get 100 women pregnant an hour, you know, if you want to. How could the most high, because you know, the scriptures say the Lord said, be fruitful and multiply. That's a commandment of the Heavenly Father. He said, be fruitful and multiply. He wants us to be fruitful. He wants everything, his creation, to flourish and yep. grow. But who's bringing, who's bringing us to death? Esau. Yep. This is the only kingdom I know. I think the brother, because I brought it out. Here it is. Sex is pretty much what brings forth life. You got to actually protect yourself from what brings life. You got to actually literally strap up to deal with these women because they so fucking diseased and infested, you yep. know? That's why this is hell. This, this kingdom got to go. And plus, if you get a woman pregnant on this side, it's going to bring all types yeah, of curses on you. Now you gotta deal with pay for it. Yeah, you gotta deal with Esau shit. No, you gotta. Oh, I can't let him get the shots. The shots might bug bug my child. Then you gotta worry about the child growing up, seeing all this madness. On top of that, your woman might bug out. Now you gotta pay child support. Hey, so you know the the heavenly father is gonna change all this around. This is gonna be like a bad dream. Yeah, because in the ancient time, you didn't really need money to take care of a kid, man. That's 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 a modern thing. Why? Because we live in these fucking cities, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you gotta have money. You gotta you gotta work and have have money. You in the ancient time we had land, man. So you had a child, you had the farm already. You know, you had the the, the sheep. You know, you had the garden. So you you were pretty much self sufficient, man. Then when your your child reached a certain age, they would uh they would help you out on the farm, man. You know, help you out on your, on your land. They would till the ground. You know, to help you take care of your garden. You know, so you, you didn't need money to, to have a child, man. Here, you need money, man. The child's expensive, man. Yeah. You know, 18 years, you got to feed him, you know, which that's cost money. You got to buy food, you know. You got to send him to school. You got to buy him clothes, you know. When we had, when we was in our land, we were self-sufficient, man. The clothes would come from the, the, the cattle that we had, you know. So you had to pay for all that, you know. The child ain't even really supposed to be expensive, man, you know. Yeah, really, a, uh, really, a child was supposed to, because a family was supposed to be set up as a business, so the child was supposed to help you make money. But now yeah. you got Esau, with his unrighteous decrees, made it to where you can't even you you can't even you know you put the children in the school system, and the school system gear them for uh, for nothing but uh, 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 stupidity, man. You know, just has them regurgitate nonsense. And, and d different, different bogus things that that don't even help them out in this in this present society, so they can go off to college and be even more bugged out. Right. When when really they should be able to work when they're when they're around 12, 13 years old. But but Esau, well, Esau, fucking throw your ass in jail. You trying to put your child to work at that age, man? Right. Yeah, he can work younger than that. You know, you could have ten year old, eight year old. He could he could take care of the sheep, could feed the sheep. Yeah. Because you on a farm, you know, you 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 send your child out to feed the feed the goats. You know, oh, hey, look, go, go feed the chickens. You know, he had to go in there. He, he, a five-year-old could do that, man. You know, but that's another uh, unrighteous decree he saw, these child labor laws, you know. I Obviously, a certain, you know, job you ain't going to give your, your child until they reach huh. a certain age. But this nigga's saying they can't work at all until they reach that age, man. That's wicked as hell, yeah. you know. Uh, let's uh, You had some precepts you wanted to bring out? Uh yeah yeah well I actually had I had this you know we don't gotta go way too into it but it's actually it's like a it's, it's a beautiful little 
couple verses here that kind of you know ended up ended off on if that's cool with y'all brothers. All right. All right. So this is a uh, Jeremiah thirty three and six. It says, "Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth." Yeah, that's you what know. you like, it, man. Peace. You don't have, you don't get peace in this society, man. You don't get peace in this world. All right, which that's one of the things that the Heavenly Father is going to give us. With that peace comes uh, rest, man, tranquility, okay? Well, that's one of the things that we, we are, are really lacking, man. Okay, we need that. We need peace, man. We need rest, okay? Mm -hmm. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity, captivity of Israel to return and mm -hmm. will build them as at the first. God, so the Most High is going to bring us out of captivity and set us up in that land. Okay, keep going. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity, whereby they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities, whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me. And it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise and an honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them. And they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. Huh. And it's like it thus say it the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Again, there shall be heard in this place, which ye say shall be desolate without man and without beast, even in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate without man and without inhabitant and without beast. The voice of joy, gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, the voice of them that shall say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good. For his mercy endure forever, and of them mm -hmm. that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. For I will cause to return the captivity of the land, as at the first, saith the Lord. You know? And uh, it's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, Israel, Israel again is going to be a joy and a praise in the earth. You know, and, and like we just, we like we've been bringing out, all these other nations are going to flow unto the nation of Israel to learn how to how to get that peace and to learn how to get that joy, which is going to come through us, man, you know, and that's the only way you're going to be able to get any any type of satisfaction on the earth is by going through us, going through Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, following these laws, statutes, and commandments, you know, which Israel is never going to be able to go off again, because like it tells you in, in the scriptures, you know, he's going to write it in our inward parts. Yeah. But you know that's it on that. Yeah, that's pretty much you know. We'll, we'll probably wrap it up on that thing. You know? Spirit, man, beautiful. beautiful way to end it, man. That's mm -hmm. that's that's what we have uh, to look forward to, man. Most sides gonna give us joy, peace. You know. Yep. Hey, you know, all, all praise to y'all, Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's that's the, the the promises that we have coming to us, man. All we have to do is endure. Yep. You know. Con, con. So so, I'll go ahead and end it off then. Done. All right, so with that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Double honors to the elders and the apostles at Great Millstone that rule well, and salutations to all the hopeful elect documents pushing the word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. <laughs>